I survived 100 days in a one by one expanding border in Minecraft Parkour. I'm stuck in a one by one border to start, and with each passing day, the border slowly expands. Throughout these 100 days, it's my goal to go from having a dirt hut to a mansion. I'd also like to cultivate sustainable farms and hopefully create a little villager civilization. This 100 days journey is full of unexpected twists and turns, and uh, well, you'll just have to see how I manage being stuck in such a small space for such a long period of time. If you end up enjoying the video, consider subscribing and leaving a like. It really helps out. And we're slowly approaching 500,000 subscribers, which is awesome. And without further ado, everybody, relax, grab your favorite snacks, and enjoy as I try to survive 100 days in a one-by-one -one expanding quarter. Okay, here we go. We are in a one by one expanding world. It seems like you can kind of walk outside of the border, which is nice, but I can't really do much outside of it. We do have trees around us, which is nice, but it looks like I can't really get them either. This is gonna be a tough one. Now trees are kind of covering everything, so it's hard to see what we have around us. I see a bee over there and I see mountains over there. I see a savanna biome over there. So we got a few things to look forward to. But for now, um, all I can really do is like mine. How, how much of this can I mine? Two blocks, three blocks, four blocks. And that's it, I guess. So, I mean, we can just break these because why not? And uh, well, I guess I wait. I really just cannot do anything else. Now, I am concerned of mobs, actually. So in the nighttime, I might have to head down this hole. Oh, I can't place blocks here, though. <sighs> Okay, so maybe I'll have to build up. I'm literally just gonna have to just AFK here for a solid like 10 minutes now. Yeah, I'm just basically waiting for my impending doom. Um, the moon going up like that is not helping at all. Wow, the nighttime looks really cool. I'm not gonna lie. Look at me standing inside of the border like a rebel. Okay, the sun is coming up and uh, throughout the night, the border did expand by one block out. So even though it kind of looks to be like a four by four space, it, it is actually a three by three. Yeah, that doesn't really let us do much more, does it? Like I can literally just mine this collection of blocks here now, and uh, that's about it. So, I mean, I guess I'll do it. Uh, there we go. Okay, yeah, this is painful. I mean, yeah, uh, I guess we're just sitting here for another whole day. All right, and it is now nighttime again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it seems like we're safe and we also can't do anything. Another day and another day of doing nothing because still in the same predicament here. As always, we shall do the most we can. All right, and that was the most we can do. We did uncover coal. So, I mean, I guess that's some type of progress. Good for us. Okay, well, another day of AFKing, and uh, we're moving up in the world. Or rather, we're moving horizontally because I can now break another little corner segment. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh my God. Okay, the AFKing has come to an end. Oh. Oh my god. Oh no, this is bad. Oh no. Okay, we're waiting in our little hidey hole. Until I hear the sound of burning phantoms, I'm not moving. Oh yes, music to my ears. They, they are burning big time and it is a good day. Okay, well I've heard them all burn away, I think. And we might be able to mine those leaves now, which <laughs> it's very exciting given I just spent like five days doing absolutely nothing. Looks like... Ooh, we got an apple and we got a sapling. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Enough with the dirt breaking, although I'm afraid that mobs are gonna spawn down here now. However, we can now grow ourselves a tree. In the meantime, you guessed it. I'm going back into my hidey hole. What a good life. Don't know exactly how much time has passed since the last time I went up to the surface. <laughs> I know it's uh, probably been a day, but my, my sapling still hasn't grown. Let's try placing it on the center block because the border might be blocking its growth. Ooh, we got two more saplings though, which is very nice. Can also break these. Oh my goodness, another sapling. Bop. Back into our little hidey hole we go. Okay, it is the morning of day seven. I'm like a crab coming out of my shell. Let's see, so I still can't break that. Maybe it'll extend later in this day? Although I, I feel like it already did extend. Oh, whoa, I just got a weed seed. That's pretty lucky. I'll flatten this area out for us. And I feel like I'd like to fill all of this in and we'll be able to make tools soon. So we'll mine down for sure. But right now I just feel like I'm always kind of fearing that mobs are gonna spawn on, and I don't think we really need this all dug out anyways. 
Let's see, I can make my little hidey hole right here. And now I can also fully solidify our hidey hole. Okay, we have our hidey hole 2.0. Look at that. We've really moved up in the world. Oh, looks like we got our first tree to have grown. This is a good day. Also, I do not have any water source, so we can't really get a wheat farm going. Or actually, wait, let me see if this works. So first of all, okay, do we want to convert this into planks? Yes. Do we want to make a crafting table? Yes. <laughs> and we definitely want to make sticks. Now, wood is more valuable than stone right now, so I should just make a wooden pickaxe and get as much stone as we want right off the bat. Now that we're doing this, we can also do a little staircase down maybe into a mine okay and we can make a full set of tools and bam i want to test and see if we place wheat seeds right after using the hoe in the ground i think that'll actually grow i don't know oh it just grew we are moving to places people we're doing it we're living the life ah uh, okay hidey hole hidey hole hidey hole ah yes another day of music to my ears now i wonder if we can kind of come out and get some of these guys to come closer to us which is a bit risky but we might get the loot if they come down here hello okay well i guess not because uh yeah they just gave up all right anyways okay now we can actually start doing some mining and hopefully do so safely i've also lit up the area if we do want, it's possible we can try to set up a spawner. Um, let's see, how would this work? As you may assume, I've never done this before. Ooh, we got, ooh, we got two trees growing out here. That's good. Uh, now my food is not doing so well. So yeah, a spawner could be very, very good. I'm thinking if we create a box as big as we are able, and then maybe trap the mobs somehow, we should be able to farm anything that spawns without taking any damage, which would be great. So I guess I'm just gonna kind of mine out as much as I can. Mm, okay, wait, hold on. I should probably think this through a bit better. So if I just keep mining down, that could work as long as I encase the surrounding walls. And we're gonna keep this lit up as well as we can for now. And we're gonna mine this down. And then when we're at the layer where we wanna be, we can just create a singular layer where we can hit all the mobs. You'll see, you'll see you'll see. Um, I'm hoping this is gonna work as I'm planning. Okay. Alrighty, we got a cave here. Kind of complicates things, but hopefully we can figure our way around it. Let's say we only bring it down this low. Hopefully it'll still work. And then we would just break a ring around this. Oh boy, I think I hear pillagers. Okay, hold on. Well, let me light this up before I leave because don't want anything spawning. We need to make a staircase up anyways. Here we go. Oh boy, hold on. Oh, okay, yeah. Nope, we need to kill them and get them out of here because otherwise we are gonna be stuck. Hello, pillagers. Come here, come here, pal. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, take that. Gotcha, buddy. I don't hear any more. Oh, okay, come here, come here. Yeah. Okay, we got a second one. Ow! He hit me, he hit me, he hit me. Let's make some slabs. That can help protect us. That was the leader. Any more? That might be it. I think we are safe on that front. Anyways, back to what we were doing. We want to place this here, like so. We will also very much want to block this off and light it up. Okay, there we go, I've dug all around. Now to keep us safe, I think we will just wanna place slabs here like so. Bam, our contraption is finished. So now that we've built this, we should be able to remove all of the torches inside. We can head back up to the top. Okay, up we go. And we can chop these trees down and let us head all the way up, which should make the mobs start spawning. Also, this is the first time I'm having a look at what is further around us. It doesn't look like there's anything that crazy. Oh no, oh no. Okay, that's that's a phantom. Um, I don't know why I didn't think of this, but yeah, we're sitting in our hidey hole until it's daytime. Any phantoms? I don't see any, we might be okay. We are seriously in shambles right now. 
and I'm at Y level 165. So we should be able to break down and then have the mobs already be spawned in. Let us see. And I do see sheep and cows over in that direction. So, you know, maybe like 20 more days and, and we'll be able to get those in our entire base. Moment of truth, please. No. Okay, this is bad. Probably had to do with the torches. And okay, I actually have an idea. To mob proof anything from spawning here, we can place slabs as well. Okay, here we go. So theoretically, as long as I cover everything up on the sides, which we can now do because a day has passed, I should be okay. Let's try doing the same thing, and theoretically, now it should work a bit better. Please, I don't want to starve to death. I really do not want to starve to death. Okay, I'm pretty high up. Theoretically, I should be able to go back down. Moment of truth. I don't hear anything, though. Yeah. Moment of truth has failed. I don't know much of what we can do. We can try to find a cave right now, which honestly might be our best option because if I don't find like rotten flesh soon, I'm dead. I'm hearing sounds of movement, but don't know if it's exactly mobs or if it's just random sounds. Okay, how do we do this without dying? Okay, this is gonna be pretty challenging. Um, the skeletons are gonna kill me. Okay, if we go down here, it seems to go down all the way. Okay, let's make a little poke hole. I'm gonna need to get my slab ready. That should prevent us from getting hit with arrows. Here we go. Okay, come here, zombies. I need to bait them somehow. Okay, zombie, come here. Yes, come here, zombie. I need to hit him with an ax. Yes, 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 yes. <gasps> okay, there's hope. We should be safe from mostly anything. Another piece of rotten flesh. We need to get full hunger for us to really be able to recuperate here. Zombie. Yes, come here. Good news is we can't starve. Bad news. Okay, this is the bad news right here. I don't hear any more zombies. I think we should go up. Nothing spawned here still. Ooh, and it's probably not worth the going up in the nighttime right now. I think we've gone maybe far enough above to where if we go back down, we'll get new spawns and maybe a zombie will spawn now. I hear a zombie. That is a good sign. Oh boy, here we go. Let's see if we can safely get to these fellas. Uh-huh. I might try going around a bit. All right, here we go. Ooh, his loot might drop outside of the border. There we go, I kind of added a platform. There's not much else I can do. Oh, nice, he dropped two rotten flesh. Are you kidding me? Thank you. What a good day. There's another zombie there. No rotten flesh from that one, okay. Yeah, we still need more food. Oh, I hear another zombie here again. Hold on. Oh, yes, hello. Ooh, he dropped rotten flesh. Thank you so much. Okay, now this time I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna stand still and hopefully that can replenish some of our hunger. Nope, it didn't do a great job of replenishing our hunger. Now there's a lot of skeletons walking around here. So there seems to be a whole other layer here maybe. Hold on, yeah, here we go. We have an area. There's a skeleton. Oh boy. Oh my God, are you kidding me? There's no way that just happened. Okay, here we go. I made a little trap. Cannot believe that creeper got blown up. Okay, four bones, that's a lot. This is a nice little spot. Okay, we're gonna come back, but I can probably already make myself some bread. Oh no, I hear pillagers above us now. How can we do this so that we stay safe? I don't know if there's any way. Of course, my life, life had to be difficult. Oh yeah, here we go, we got one. Okay, are there more? I don't hear any more. Oh, nope, there's more. Okay, I'm grabbing the seeds and wheat. I need a chest. We'll do that. Okay, bone meal, bone meal. We'll just do this as many times as we can. We got two bread, two bread, two whole pieces of bread. Can you believe that? That's amazing. Here's the raid leader. We're gonna have to bait him in. Oh, he's quick with it. Okay, okay, I might have a slightly better plan of attack. And that entails getting a shield and some armor. But while I work on that, I'm still gonna try to snake over to them. Oh my goodness. Okay, good. 
Ow. How are you still hitting me? Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, we're alive. Boom. Shield and leggings. Okay, I think that was it. Uh, good news is that we now have a wheat farm. <laughs> Bad news is that we're kind of in shambles. Oh, not again. Okay, well, I'll have to wait until day. I'm not messing with phantoms. And to add on to us being in shambles, I'm gonna start growing wheat here because that's the best thing I can do right now. There we go. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, here we go. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's dangerous. Okay. Let me see if I can set the same thing up over here. Extending this. Nice. There we go. Okay, I might be feeling a bit adventurous here. Okay, that went well. Okay, and that's where we stop. Five more bones. Not bad. Boom. Two more bread. Now, if it is daytime, we should be able to fix our place up. And I'm thinking of building a wall around our little chunk that we have here, which should simplify our lives a bit. And I think right around the edge, we should make a border with whatever resource we can for now. And you know what I'm thinking is we can have trees growing out here and hopefully they'll still be able to grow with where they're placed. We'll basically place an additional wall and that way the trees can kind of fully grow while we will remain safe. Then we will have a door, bam. And then to finish it off, we'll build a little roof over our heads here. And I know that this build is hurting the eyes right now. We will make it look better later. I just need to survive right now. Let's us get started kind of doing something for ourselves. And we should go underground and fix up what is there. Okay, yeah, I did some fixing up, but even the fixing up is, oh, it's, it's rough. We can start our wheat farm here. There we go. Oh, and this tree grew. Cool. Okay. I think the best next thing we can do is get full iron gear. So let us head into the cave. And I'm more so confident in ourselves now that we have armor, a shield, and kind of a sustainable food source. Any ores, any ores. All the ores are like outside of us. Oh, there's a water source. Okay, well, Enderman, me and you, pal. Uh-oh, he's shifty. Yeah, we got him, okay. There is a way down here, but still no ores, it seems. Oh, whoa, there's a mob right there. There's a witch, which is very dangerous. Let's try to take her out. Okay, of course, yep. You know what, I deserve it. Okay, I'm leaving. That was a terrible, terrible, terrible miscalculation. That was so bad. Okay, I mean, we got trees here, which could mean apples. Nope, okay, no luck. Yeah, I've never been this much in shambles ever. Our wheat's, uh, you know, it's doing its best. Let's cut down these trees, you know. More, more chances for apples. see is there anything around us not really if i literally take half a heart of damage i'm dead like that's the crazy part i don't know let's just continue mining down a bedrock for a bit i mean that's about the best i can do unless i go kamikaze style and just try to go in and bait the mobs out even though i have half a heart of hell Oh, well, we found diamonds. I mean, you know, it'd be great if I could get them, but either way, it's a plus. Well, let's head up again and see if we can bait any mobs. Oh, there's a creeper there. That's not good. Creeper, where'd you go? Oh, we got you. Okay, no rotten flesh. We shall continue along. Okay, I hear... Oh, yes. Okay, so a bunch of things have started to spawn. The creepers are definitely a concern. Oh, boy. Oh, look how many things are coming. Okay, that's one zombie. Oh, this is crazy. Uh, wait, please grow. No, that wasn't a fully grown one. Okay. Okay. Hey, my favorite spot. Come one, come all. Yes, please. Hello. Okay, good. Oh, yes. I'm taking a big step out of the comfort zone here. I'm not seeing anyone or anything. Okay, it's another day. Yeah, not a lot more that we can do up on the surface here. So it's just kind of a cycle of me trying to respawn the mobs and hoping that they'll give me some good items. 
Here we go. Okay, we got some good respawns. Nothing. Back up we go. Bone mealing, bone mealing. La di da. Okay, seven wheat. Seven wheat. It gives us two bread. Did not progress us forward very much. Um, okay, that did raise my spirits though. I guess uh, I'll just keep mining. You know what? I'm gonna mine this chunk down. least now we have one fully broken out box how are we doing up here not too too good yeah we're not looking too good up here either so we are gonna fix everything up kind of fixed up both rooms <laughs> obviously not ideal still but at least we now have two boxes i do want to continue looking for iron so we can head a bit lower and mine out an area here maybe i'm not really planning on building a lot of our base underground if any so this is just for our mining purposes only you know what that probably does mean i should do a better job of using the space uh, so i guess i'll mine them from up here to start That's our third pickaxe broken. So obviously the mining in this area strat, uh, I mean, hasn't been working too well. I don't know if going lower would help us out at all, <laughs> but I do know we do want to try and get more supplies like bones and rotten flesh because we are still doing very bad on hunger. Thank you. Where'd that skeleton go? Come back. Let's see. We, yeah. There we go. Come here. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna eat my rotten flesh and heal up. Yeah, well, the rotten flesh didn't do a lot for us. Gotcha. All right. We can head back up. <laughs> and it also looks like our border expanded while we were down there because we can now mine this coal. This wheat looks like it's grown, but I'm gonna double check. Let's see. Bone meal. Oh, it is. Okay. Boom, 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 bam, boom. Oh yeah, we are doing a lot better. Our wheat farm is starting to grow, which gives us a sustainable source of permanent food. We're moving in the right direction. What can I say? And we can make two pieces of bread. And we should also have a look at what is going on over here. Okay, things are slowly starting to look better, which I'm honestly very happy about because for a while there, we were just stuck in the depths of the underground world. But hopefully we can start thriving soon. And we got apples falling from the trees. That's what I'm talking about. I'd kind of like to start making our base look nice. To do that, I mean, we probably want to use stone bricks. I gotta say, it's a very aesthetic block, and we can mix that with some stone and wood as well. Oh, man, I'm excited to use some, some decent materials. Now, if we want to cook up more of that, we would need more coal. Ooh, apples are falling from the sky. What a good day. So, again, everything comes back down to us having to get ores and obviously we have not been having the best of luck oh yeah we got a horde of mobs over there come here fellas Ooh, we might even be able to mine some of this iron hold on oh no one more block okay and it was silent when it, when it was blowing up too all right so no iron just on the surface or anything like that but we can definitely get to doing some mining and it's another day. I wonder if uh, we have any sights on animals soon. I see a cow. It's so far though. That'll take so long to get to, but within the 100 days, we probably will be able to. So, I mean, that's good news. Oh, I hear a sheep. Hold on. I hear a sheep really close. Oh, <gasps> come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Do I have wheat? Oh, I do, I do. Oh, come here, buddy. Yeah, welcome. Oh, we got a sheep. Would you believe that? Are there any more? Sheepies? Uh, I'm not seeing anything. But you know what? We could already shear it, and that gives us a way to make a bed, which uh, is nice, because then the nights can be a little bit more withstandable. Oh, all right. All right, sheep. You're going to be doing that, aren't you? Um, oh, boy. Okay, well, this is why we have to start building and getting things done, because this is not going to work for long. Got some bone meal that I can use. Okay, so we got four bread from that harvest. Definitely increasing. Now, I figure we can go mining for a little bit longer, try to get more coal and iron, and uh, from there, we will start to expand out our base. First of all, I'm going to finish this little dig out that I didn't finish before, because otherwise it's going to bother me. We need perfect boxes everywhere there we go it's boxified 
I will let it rest. Oh, and how'd you get down here, buddy? You know what? As long as it doesn't go further down, this is kind of fine with me. It might go further down, though. In which case, I'll block this off. We can make a bunch of furnaces, and uh, I really need to start getting room. I don't know how much that's going to be able to smelt, but we'll just find out, I guess. I mean, what we're basically going to have to do is break all of this <laughs> and then start fresh from there. Uh-oh, okay, so that's going to be a problem. We can't have this fella wandering around. We're going to give you your own little corner. How about that? All for you. There we go. Totally not trapping you in there. It's just your designated corner. Oh, yeah, I'm starting to hear phantoms. Oh, boy. Ow. Yep, here they come. Okay, well, in that case, in the nighttime, let's just head on down <laughs> and continue mining until it is day again. Okay, well, all this mining and still no iron. I'm starting to think that I should probably try to set up a strip mine or something because obviously this is not working. But uh, let's see if it is daytime by now. Okay, we're back up here and let us finish clearing this wall out. Okay, so I've broken most of the trees around our area here. So yeah, they're kind of in the process of all falling down. It would help if I had shears, because then I could kind of quickly take away any of this extra. And we already know a few areas that we want to build. We need a farm area, a tree area, and a place for our sheep. And then of course, we would like to make a house. Oh boy, here we go. Phantoms are spawning. I'm heading down. Bye. And instead, Instead of mining all of this out, we should probably just kind of strip mine. And I figure that'll save us a little bit of time. Oh, there you go. I found iron. Wow. It took a while. Okay, so this is what our strip mine looked like. And I guess I will head down and kind of repeat this. Okay, hello surface, another day, and we can now break this tree. So let's see, I want this to be a farming area so we can break this little patch of grass. And we're gonna need to move our sheep friend out of the area. There we go, we'll make some fences and let us get this fella out of here. And we'll bring you with us so that we can place you in here. There we go, nice little temporary pen. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I guess we'll just start off simple and surround this in fences. We'll also need to move our things over and we could probably end up extending the farm area over this much just because we're gonna have other crops we're gonna wanna grow as well. For now, I'm only doing wheat though. And we're just gonna surround all of this with oak fencing. Now, we do have this opening to our underground section here, which we should think about how we want to manage. Might just be able to move the entrance over. Let me see if that would be possible. No, not, I mean, kind of. Why am I making this so hard for myself? And then we could even open this up. We would want to add torches all around. It's kind of starting to be something at least. We're also gonna wanna move all of this. this chest and uh yeah wow that's looking ugly right now but it'll get better as we get more and more wheat and other crops but we have kind of designated that for our farming and hopefully we will make it look better as we go and now it is time to figure out how we want to build our house first of all try to fix this up we can make a bunch of stone bricks, which is nice. And I'm thinking that we kind of want our house to be facing this way. And so this would be the backyard, kind of. I don't know if building it this way will make it a lot harder or anything. I guess we'll find out. Ooh, and I should not take additional damage when I don't have to. Oh, boy. Um, oh, and I'm out of food. Okay, hold on. We wait another day. And I do actually have the iron to get shears and then get wool that way. So we'll do it for the next night. But this one, I'll just spend farming up some more of the mobs that we have down here and maybe even mining. These fellas have some armor on. I'm hoping they can drop some maybe. Wow, there's a lot of zombies all of a sudden. Holy moly. This is the most I've ever seen. 
If it's just zombies like this, I can kind of take them on without having to lure them into my spot. Two skeletons. Oh, it dropped its bow. Power one. Huh, pretty nice. Now over this way, I can already start to mine the iron. Okay, we should be able to go back up to the surface now. Ah, oh, we are back. Hello. We are definitely going to get to smelting all of the iron we've been finding. And I'm wondering, what will this look like if we add a stone brick frame and then fill this in with planks? I think that might actually work. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to try that. And if anything, we'll change it up later. I'm also going to make a door. And I kind of want the doors to be a bit off-centered because it's like a backyard door. And I feel like backyard doors are never on. <laughs> it's fully centered. And we don't really have the option of glass at the moment. So we're just going to have to deal with a windowless house. Could pave out a little path <laughs> like so and are we gonna be able to make any glass i wonder maybe over there there is some sand but we really don't have access to a lot of it and we should probably get a roof done on here right away we're gonna keep this first part of the house kind of low and not too high up i think that'll make it easier for us to build and also that'll make it easy for us to continue this build into something bigger we will do the usual and carry this upwards and I can't move past this one block, can I? Nope. Okay. Also, nighttime is coming, and I forgot to shear our friend over here. So let's see if we can get three wool. Please, I don't want to have to go down again. I can collect some of our wheat here, at least. Oh, and I hear the phantoms. Yep. Where was... Oh, boy. Okay. And I'm gone. Oh, okay. I cannot believe that I forgot to share the sheep. Oh my goodness. So now I'm stuck here again for another night, which, you know what? This is just becoming routine at this point. Now I'm going to treat myself and I'm going to make an iron pickaxe because I feel like I deserve it. Okay. And it'll come in use later anyways, if we find diamonds, that is. Uh, now, quick change up here. You'll notice in my chat, I have this message saying a new day started border has expanded. And that's because I added a new data pack to expand the world because I was having some technical issues and uh, everything should work now. But I do believe that this one starts expanding two blocks after some time. So we'll check what it looks like at the surface level. But for now, I will keep mining kind of starting to get lost in my strip mining here. I, I don't know where where my exit is. Well, the border is expanded, which I guess means it's a new day. I don't know what I'm doing, but I mean, I found the iron that I mined to before, and it looks like we got a lot more space on the border here. Okay, up to the surface. Still need to figure out an entrance. Anyways, are there any monsters up here? Ooh, yeah, we do have animals. We got a lot of cows over in this direction. They're getting closer and closer, and I also saw a sheep, which is really good news. Now? Oh no. I was not ready for this. This is not fair. I swear, Creeper, if you blow up. Yeah. Oh, sharpness two sword. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Don't you? Oh, oh there's a skeleton too. Oh no. Oh yeah. Got him. At this point, I gotta clear out my inventory and I will light this area up as well. And uh, yeah, we're doing the best we can with our wheat farm here. It's, it's, it's a little bit scuffed up. <laughs> And let's try to collect whatever has grown. It looks like we are doing really well with the wheat growing. I'm trying to bone meal things that I'm going to get the maximum benefit from because we don't really need to rush for food anymore. Oh, look, the, the, the soil is fertile because it's raining. Hallelujah. Hold on. Wait, I need to make a, another hoe quick because I think this is just moisturizing all of our crop here, which is something I did not know happened, actually. Good, good, good. Let me not forget to shear our sheep here. Oh, yes. And that will give us enough to sleep off the night. Now, let's try to finish this roof here. I don't know. Why did I choose to use stone brick? I could have just used cobblestone. You know, it would have looked fine. <laughs> uh, I'm a goofy goober. Then we need to fill in this part. And to make it less boring, I'm thinking of using logs that'll be stripped. It's a bold move to say the least, but I'd, I'd like to try it. So what I'll do is spend time clearing all the trees out around our base. 
Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, hi. Come here. Oh. <laughs> No way. This guy just walked right into our bordered area. That's so nice. Hello. Guys, come in here. Uh-oh, I hear a skeleton. I hear a lot of mobs. They're right below this area. But anyways, you guys can breed. Yeah, the parrots and the bats. Okay, I'll have to light that uh, area where mobs are spawning later. But for now, let's finish lighting the area up and breaking trees. Okay. And that is every tree around us cleared out. I'll probably have to take out some leaves using my shears just because there are trees that I'm unable to break on the outside of the border. And also, it loves to attach to my house. And just before the start of the new day, we finished. Yep, yeah, there we go. Border has expanded. Now, I do hear a lot of monsters here, so we're gonna try to clear that out. But before then, I just realized <laughs> from my furnaces, I had a bunch of iron. So we can make all of the rest of our iron gear. And we can even go as far as making iron tools. Ooh, yeah, I don't need you anymore. Well, probably, probably we'll still need stone tools at some point. Okay, shield on. How are you doing? Sounds like you guys are doing wonderfully. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're loving your life, aren't you? Okay, now hold on. Oh, boy, how are we gonna handle this? It looks like we can go down here, maybe. Oh my god, please, please, Enderman, die. Oh, okay, that could have been bad. Oh, potatoes. This is kind of hard to believe. I'm still processing. Wait, do I hear a villager? I think a watering trader just spawned. Hold on. Did he spawn up here? No way. Hello, glowstone, um, beetroot seeds, melons. This is the best watering trader I've ever seen in my life. Packed ice. I don't know, that doesn't actually transform into ice, does it? But anyways, are you kidding me? Nautilus shell, like what? Dude, you're amazing. Um, okay, hold on, let me think. We need to put this fella somewhere. I'm wondering if we should put him inside our home or somewhere in the outside. Oh, he's running away. He's running away. Um, okay, okay, okay. Stop thinking. All right. So, okay, we're we're gonna we're gonna trap you until we figure out a spot. No, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. Back in the hole you go. Back in the hole. Stop trying to get out of the hole. No, he got out of the hole. Okay, get back in the hole right now. In the hole. There we go. Oh, I messed up his llamas. Oh, how did he? Oh, what's going on right now? Oh, things are getting crazy. Oh no, I might have messed. I might have messed this up big time. Where? Okay, you gotta stop moving, sir. You're doing way too much. Okay, we're gonna, we need to figure this out. So theoretically, our mansion is gonna expand all the way to this direction. And then here we have our backyard with a farm. And now we could put him inside our house here. Maybe we can make like a little bar area right here and put him here. That kind of be cool. I know this is gonna make some people very angry, but we're gonna use some birch. And fine, we will strip the birch, fine. <laughs> and we're gonna make fence gates. Bam, bam. And I figure we'll have a nice little section going like so. Okay. And now let's just get him in here, first of all. Hey, man. So remember how I trapped you? I'm gonna need you to forget that, okay? It was, it was really just a joke. Yeah, you like going to the surface, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You love it. You love it. Go in the house. Yeah, in the house. Let's get it. Wait, can I put him in a boat? How have I not thought of this? Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Yeah. And here we go. Good. Llama, you should also go inside. Trust me. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to break this. Get him in there. That's one. And that is two. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, we did it. 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 Okay. Okay. I do have an idea. We have these, which give us red dye. So we could put that onto our wool. And then we would probably... Oh, he's trying to make a run for it. <laughs> But we'd probably switch between red and white here. So we need to keep shearing our fellas over here. And let's see. This might kind of look like a candy cane, but you know what? Who says that's a bad thing? We will add trap doors like this. You know what? To switch things up a bit, why don't we just add a uh, andesite covering like this? Yeah, it's kind of different than everything else, and I like it. Oh, I can't wait to have a better light source, including glowstone. Okay, I have to do two things. <laughs> I never ended up finishing lighting up this area, but uh, yeah, let's finish what we were doing over here. Okay, I kind of like this as a mob grinder almost. Like, I I'm changing my mind now. Look at how good this is. This is bringing me so much loot and levels. Oh, and my amazing sword's about to break. I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I've changed my mind. This is an amazing mob grinder. Did I place a torch over here? Yes, I did. We can remove that. Oh, the mobs keep coming. Yeah, that that is a class. Oh, what? How did that happen? Are you kidding me? Okay. These monsters are crazy, man. And phantoms, you know what? You know what, pals? I'm not scared of you this time. Come at me. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Nevertheless, I would like to have our first nap in our bed. <laughs> Ooh, that felt good. And now let's finish the roof finally. All done. Let us light this up a little bit. And we are done. The first part of our future mansion. Don't worry. It's this is this is supposed to be the back, not the front, okay? Don't roast me. We can even start to lay out what the rest of this is gonna look like. Like a so. Okay, and with that, we should be good to go on setting the outline. Here we go. This is what the outline is going to look like. In fact, I should probably just finish it with stone bricks. There we go. Yeah, it's gonna look something like this. And from the backside, it'll look pretty cool. You should probably extend this out at least a couple of blocks over this way, and that'll look a little bit nicer. There we go. We shall start on that later. For now, let's get to doing some other important things. One of those is planting our potatoes down, but let's quickly see if we have any water yet. Oh, <gasps> we have a cow. I need, I need wheat, I need wheat. Let's bring you on over here and we'll build a fenced in area over here. But until then, you stay put. You don't be going anywhere, okay? Place these all along. And that marks the start of our cow farm. How nice. Are there any more surprises that I should look into? A lot more flowers. A bee nest. Which, you know what? I should probably learn how to handle bees. I've never really done so. But I'm not seeing anything special. Special otherwise. We are getting closer and closer to the water, which is great news. And more cows over this way. Okay, cool. Okay, let us plant our lonely potato. In fact, I have a bunch of bone meal, so we can easily make that bigger. I will take out half of the wheat. Okay, bam, almost filled it out fully. All right, now what I'd like to do is head into the caves around our base and see if we can find more ores or maybe a random water source. I still need to do a better job here of getting an entryway into our underground section. The amount of mobs that I hear is overwhelming. Oh boy, how did you get here? <gasps> how did all of you get here? Excuse me. Carrot, oh my God. I think another creeper blew up or something. Are you kidding me? Hold on. How did this happen? Uh-oh, this is bad. How did this happen? Oh, it's a zombie villager. Well, I'm not even going to be able to do anything with this fellow yet. Ow. Holy moly, dude. Okay, well, I've like trapped the, the zombie villager. Maybe we should put him in a boat, huh? Maybe that'll prevent him from despawning. Dude, it's like a whole invasion going on. Oh. Okay, hold on. Ow. Oh, oh my god. Dude, what is happening? Are you kidding me right now? Where? Are you kidding me? Yeah. I'm done, dude. I'm done. How? What is going on? Oh my god. Please don't blow up. Okay. Oh my god. Where are they coming from? Did I forget to place a block here? What? There's a block there. Where did they all come from? Did they somehow like walk through the slab? Like, I don't know. I'm so confused right now. I don't think it's from down here. <gasps> Wait, maybe it's this up here? Oh, it is. Look at this. These guys are clever. There's a little hole there. I'm not gonna let that happen again. I feel like hero brines in my world. Like, I don't think I did that. Goodness gracious. Okay, I'm going down hesitantly and I'd like to explore through the cave that we saw before. I'm back. Oh, there's a bunch of Endermen here, which is good, I guess. I don't know. There, it's very unlikely that the end portal is within our reach, to be honest. Okay, we're gonna light this up slowly. And there's water. I just saw water. Okay, that's great. Ow, that's not good. That Whatever that shovel has on it, it's, it's doing a lot of damage. Okay, I got the shovel guy. He gave me a carrot. Oh, and a new day has come. Good to know. Yeah, I've been, I've been doing great. Huh, huh. Oh, those, those arrows hurt. I'm good. You know what? Let's get like an actual food source and then maybe we can come back. Wow. Ooh, that was intense. Our potato farm is now full 
And I'm gonna make myself a stack of baked potatoes. Oh, I cannot wait. Okay, that definitely is gonna make it easier for us to try to explore the rest of that cave. It will also make a new sword and we can head back down. Hello? Kind of looks safe. There's a lot of ores here. There's also a spider. I'm out of torches. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. My nice little hidey spot. And we can take everybody out from here. Oh, there we go. Oh, and a zombie villager. I wonder how we should handle this guy. You know what? We'll just put him in a boat. Come here. Yep, there we go. Anyways, there are a bunch of ores here and I would like to mine them up. Okay, 18 raw iron, and I'm gonna quickly smelt up enough iron to make two buckets. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, I see lava. Oh, I see a diamond. Nice. Oh, that's a witch. Oh no. Okay, yeah, nice. Good creeper, love creepers. We're gonna have to block this off for now. Oh, look at this lineup of mobs. Okay, you guys should not come here. Okay, let me get this diamond. Literally one diamond. I can also not see anything. That's fine. So there's a whole lot to discover in this direction as we know now okay yeah i'm not ready i'm not ready here we go we got the iron needed for buckets one two we got infinite water now oh it is nighttime oh goodbye nighttime <laughs> Let me plant our two individual carrots. And I'd like to figure out the inside of our house a little bit more. And I wanna make a nice little storage, but I need more wood, so. And we've got our second cow here. I need wheat. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh no. <laughs> it couldn't have gone that far. I guess maybe it could have because I don't see it. Kinda missed our chance there. Oh my goodness, here he is. Wow, there we go. And definitely need to add a fence gate here. There we go. Back to what I was doing. We will place chests back here and we will move all of this. Okay, there we go. That is everything moved over. This is not our final storage. We will hopefully make a much bigger one once we expand our house, but that's good enough for now. Oh, and the wandering trader despawn. I should have known. We can also make our infinite water source and we can start applying this to our farm. And I'm kind of centering it. Definitely have more water around here than needed, but that's fine. And I mean, now that we've done all that, we can work on our house some more and wait for the border to expand so that we can adventure some more in those underground caves. Also, here's a sheep, but I'm too lazy to bring it into our pen. So we'll just leave it out there. Let's just start filling this in. There we go, we have finally completed the first little layer. Yeah, I might end up wanting to do like a wrapping of more oak logs all around here because I feel like with too many oak planks, it'll just look boring. We could also try using a different block, but we shall find that out as time goes on because right now I'm kind of stuck. I don't really have any more trees to farm. I could make a tree farm. Let me check on how many bones we have. Oh, a solid none. Nice. In that case, let's go down to our mob farm. Oh yeah. Okay, that scared me. I don't know how, why I just bounced back like that. It could have been bad. This is why we create an extra border. Oh yeah, my first ender pearl. I got 11 bones and that should be enough to kind of get us started with our tree farming. Oh, it's night. Nope, not anymore. Let's just grow all of these over here. And I am not really <laughs> giving these trees a nice life, I gotta tell you, but it is what it is. How we looking, how we looking. Definitely could use some design. We're not really loving the <laughs> just straight up oak walls, are we? So maybe we can add the design that I talked about, but also maybe we can add some andesite. Let me check how much I have. Mm, I actually have a pretty good amount. I have like four stacks of this stuff. In that case, it wouldn't be a bad idea to add it into our build, but I'd like to use the polished variant. Okay, here we go. Okay, it fits pretty nicely actually. And we basically wanna build one more floor. So I'm, I'm thinking what we'll do is build a layer of stone bricks. And 
then I would like to add this oak log design. Okay, I've gotten about two stacks of logs. I'm gonna need more though. So I figure we should just leave these to grow again. And in the meantime, I would not mind adventuring some more of the caves beneath us. Hello, I'm back. And was this the scary, oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, we definitely have a scary cave opening this way. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's kind of make ourselves a staircase. It, you can blow up. Yeah. Oh, I think I see diamonds, I do. And lava. So that would be a nice area to get to, which uh, we will be able to before the end of the 100 days for sure. So that's good. And we do have some iron around us, which is nice. And I actually hear a lot of monsters below me, I think it is. Oh, nope, it's above me. Oh yeah, there we go, jackpot. Oh, looks like a big cave area. Hello, hello, hello. Oh boy. Okay, bad idea. Ooh, glowing ink sacks. And that is a new item, glow ink sacks. I do want to make a storage so we can light up our item frames if we want. Oh, it looks like they're coming from there. Unfortunately, it seems like... Oh, wait, never mind. There's some coal. Okay, 46 coal. Oh, there's a slime. No way. Is this like a slime chunk? Hello. Oh, and you dropped your slime balls. Oh, that's nice. That's another new item. Okay, back home we go. Also, we need to start strategizing how we're going to turn these guys into villagers. We just need golden apples and weakness potions. So we're going to need sugar cane. We're going to need to head into the nether. And I think that's mainly the only things we need to do. But if we want to head into the nether, we probably want to get some diamond gear. Also, oh, I just realized I'm pretty sure that the border is in the nether as well. So yeah, we're just gonna have to do our best. Ooh, hello. <gasps> oh, it's another wandering trader. That is good. Let's sleep off the night. And what are your traits? The other guy had really good ones. You know, your traits are terrible. Oh, no. Oh, and I got both llamas in. Okay, you know what? Oh, he can't leave. He can't leave the border. That's nice. Hmm. Okay, I'm too lazy to get him into my base, and he's really not good enough either, so we're just gonna push him into the boat. Oh, okay. All right, in the boat we go, how about that? Yeah, okay, we're just gonna keep them there for now. And we have access to a lot more trees now, so yippee. I think we are finally done with tree chopping for now. I mean, we got what, like six and more stacks of wood. All right, let us do this. And I barely need any more logs, which is actually really good news because I thought we might need to go chop in a bunch more trees, but we don't. Oh, you guys have come here, haven't you? Okay. I'm going to have to take you out, fellas. Alrighty. Goodbye. Don't mess with me, you know? Ooh, there we are. That is all the logs filled in. And next we can place a layer of andesite here. Oh yeah, looking better, looking better. I'm also kind of confused on how we're gonna figure this out. I guess we just need to continue this wall. Yeah, we'll start by removing this roof that we made. Let's see, and I guess I would rip out this part of the wall as well. I'm out of logs. And okay, are we done filling in the roof? Not even close. But we've been doing pretty well, and uh, I want to break from this, you know? How are we looking? How are we looking? Not bad. Definitely more to improve on, which we will keep on doing. Part of that improvement is removing this random cobblestone that I left behind. Ah, oh, yes, my beautiful modern looking house. So I searched up how bees work and uh, well, it's a lot more complex than I thought it was. So yeah, we're probably not gonna be able to get a bee farm thingamajig going for quite a while. I guess that's something to look forward to though. And I hope I'll actually be able to figure it out because I'm a bee noob, okay? Oh, and the sheep has taken over the boat, which is, uh, that's pretty funny. Anyways, where is that beehive slash nest slash thing? Oh, here it is. Does it have like honey in it? Oh, it does. Watch this. Oh, wait, I didn't know there was bees inside. I don't care though. They're not gonna do much damage to me. It's fine. 
Yeah, there we go. I got the honey. Now we have a like a partly finished house here, which I want to take a break on. So I figure we can work on our farm area. Like right now, it's looking pretty average. Also, I should make sure that I keep breeding because that is going to make our lives easier in the future for sure. Let's see. I think making like an animal stable here might be nice. And then we'll have to figure out where we want to put the farmland. As for the animal stable, though, we're going to have to flatten out some land. Okay, we should be done with digging the dirt out. And now I just got to fill some spots in. It would seem that we can now build our little animal enclosure. And I'm kind of sick using oak logs, but um, I don't know what else I can do. I mean, I could resort to birch. I'll do some birch, some stripped birch maybe. Now, let's figure this out. Now, what block do we want below the fences? Mm, and a site? Yeah, I sleep well at night, let me tell ya. And we do want a good amount of this to be grass on the inside, but we definitely want fences on the sides here. And boop, oh, and the cow's already getting ready to get in. Ah, yeah, buddy, I'm still setting it up. Yeah, there we go, okay, done. Now, how do we separate these? Let's just put a middle block And Is this even? No, it's one block off. This is what I get for not calculating. You know, I did actually just have an idea though. What if we collect every type of dyed sheep and make a farm out of each of them? Or like most of them, you know what I mean? Like just get as many colors as we can. I feel like that's a pretty cool objective. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do that. That does mean we might need to extend this, but for now we'll just keep it as is and we'll just create very short separators. Cows seem to love to go into this place. I don't know what it is. And now we would add the separators. We can have the sheep on this side. My friend, this way. In you go. And I'm sorry, cow, goodbye. And in that case, we can probably split this three ways on this side. That solves our issue of it being uneven. And would you look at that? I had the perfect amount of fence gates. Now let's design the rest of this shed. I don't know what it's called, okay? Okay, let's see here. Uh, I think we should just use stone bricks and birch planks. We will add birch slabs here. There we go. And then we can add a outline of stone brick slabs for the roof. And I would kind of like to keep some open space on the roof, but we'll start by adding a little bit of a birch outline. Yeah, I mean, leaving it just open might be a little bit strange, but I do have a little idea that could kind of give us the best of both worlds. We might be able to get away with just adding a little strip of andesite slabs like so. These parts maybe we could fill in with glass if we get some in the future, for example. And it does seem like we're approaching closer and closer to the water over here, which probably does have some sand inside of it. We should start bringing over our animals. So let's go cows first. There we are. We will also get you fellas started on more breeding. There we go. We will then also need to bring in two of each sheep into each of these pens so that we can have different dyes. So let's go. Two of you guys get in here. Perfect. Oh, one of them ran off. Hey, where are you going? And before breeding them, we should dye them the colors that we want. Let's see, so I have a bunch of red. We have some yellow flowers, which is good. And also lilac. Oh, I just realized we also need to keep just regular white sheep. So let's see, kind of like to bring these fellas into the pen next to the gray sheep. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we also need another sheep that's going to be gray. So hello, baby. Yeah, we got the baby. Good. And we're going to bring it in here. You guys are going to be red. You guys are going to be yellow. And we'll have some magenta ones over here. But we're going to have to wait for more white sheep to breed so that we can then dye them. 
And that also means we can remove this. And the question is, what are we gonna do with our farms here? We probably want a fairly large area for farmland. And I think this is a really nice area to put it. We just need to even the dirt out again. That should probably do the trick. So let us start by removing all of this farm. We will also remove the water and it should dry out on its own. Okay, so with that done, we need to figure out how we want to build our actual new farm. It might be nice if we make our farm have some type of randomness to it. So it's not just like a uniform box like this, but instead maybe it'll have a little curve to it. Now the question is how are we actually going to set up the shape of what we want the farm to be? I think I think the best way to do it is to create a border using some slabs and maybe we can use some cobblestone slabs actually. And I think it'll be kind of nice if we have the entrance be pretty narrow, even though the garden is so big. This is where we might be able to use some acacia wood because it's kind of a fitting log type for a garden. Yeah, so I might end up undoing what we do here, but let's just see, for example, the entrance, we would have some logs and it doesn't look bad with the cobblestone. The question is, how does it look beside our base here? Mm, I guess it's kind of weird to be using so many different wood types, but who cares? Cares. Let's do it. I'll need to collect some more acacia wood in that case. And we got about a stack and a half of acacia logs. That will do. Well, we can probably put these logs all around the garden. And then we're going to want to make separate farms for potatoes, carrots, wheat, and probably other crops in the future, but I think that's all we really have to worry about for now. Let's get a water source here. We can also start paving a little path for ourselves. This can all be wheat, maybe. This can be potatoes, and this can be our carrots. That seems to be looking pretty good. Let's kind of have a look. Boom, that should be good for the wheat side. Yeah, these water placements are quite random. It is also getting dark. So for now, let's light these logs up as though we're using lamps. And it's still kind of gonna be dark in the center, which is why I'll wanna make some type of posts or using fences or more logs. Let's finish with the water real quick. Okie dokie, all done. Now I can sow all of the ground. And that should be all. It looks like everything's being hydrated well. Looking good so far, but if anything, we can easily fix it. Now, let us fill all of these spots up with their corresponding crop. Now we can do potatoes. Okay, that's filled in and we'll do the carrots. Hey, you're messing up my crops. Wow, no manners, no manners. Mm hmm, not a lot, not a lot, but it's okay. That's a work in progress. How can we make this look a little better, I wonder? We could definitely cover the water with trapdoors. I'm wondering what this will look like if we add like a fence border. Not only will that keep the zombies out, but it'll make it look better potentially. We literally had just enough. <laughs> yeah, so this is looking good. I mean, we can probably even do a little bit more to make it look better. I don't know. We'll leave that alone for now. It's looking pretty good. And if uh, we have any ideas come up, we will make use of those. I guess uh, we should now get back to trying to finish our home. And we probably have all the cobblestone we need to make stone, but we don't have enough resources to smelt it up. So we can head back into the mines. Hello, my mob farm. Okay, well, I don't need to be farming that. I'm <laughs> just doing it for fun. Yeah, we got loot all over. So that works for me. I'm going to mind this up. Ooh, 
we got a glow squid. Hello. I'd kind of be interested to see if we can start any type of an aquarium. I mean, it almost feels like it would be impossible, but you know, you never know what's possible, so I won't count it out. is just one more of the sections and I think I see a diamond. I see two diamond veins. Oh, imagine getting full diamond armor and enchanting table that's level 30. How amazing. Oh boy, we got a whole cave section over here. Kind of safer to head down now. Hello, fellas. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make them turn against each other. There we go. Got him. One of these guys dropped their enchanted bow. Uh, where'd it go though? I actually do not know. Got some gold. Is that our first pieces of gold? Wow. Ooh, so many ores. And my shield is also almost broken. So it's a good thing that it's time for us to head up. But I did not uh, end up getting any gold. I mean, all the gold that I got, I need for torches. I guess the best part is the diamonds, which I should mine now. And we got one diamond. Okay. Let us head back on up. So, I mean, I got a bunch of copper. That's something. Other than that, almost a stack of iron and no coal. You know what that means? We're just gonna smelt up a bunch of trees. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's smelting. And we got one iron, which will help us make a shield. Back to what we were doing, chopping trees. Well, that's a good sign for us to stop chopping trees down. And we've gotten a bunch of charcoal from doing this, which is good. So we can start smelting up our cobblestone. Okay, I've gotten four stacks smelting up here and I guess we will get back to it right now. And bam, we have filled in this mega roof of stone brick slabs. And so we need to create an entryway to this mansion. I'm now considering how much easier my life will be if we just keep this as the front side of the base. I mean, it's not that bad, is it? We'll have a nice little path going to our garden. We can extend it out to the animal encampment here. Either way though, we do need to figure out how to merge the two parts. And this should be the center here. We will need to fix this part. Ooh, and it appears that I don't have enough andesite to finish this. Are you getting me? Okay, looks like we have to go mining for some andesite. We need to get andesite, okay. That will most definitely be enough andesite. Also, there's a bunch of mobs that... Oh, that creeper's about to blow up. Also, oh, endermen are stealing blocks. That's what's going on. All right, and we shall finish filling this in. So now we have fixed that, but we are stuck with one big empty space. We're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do with that space. It would also probably be a good idea to do the flooring here. So I guess we can rip out everything. <laughs> And what do we want to fill this in with? And a site? Mm, no. Maybe if I use the polished version. Mm, yeah. There we go. We did have enough polished andesite slabs. And this is looking nice. I like it. And since we're just going to keep this as the front side of the house now, that makes our lives a lot easier because we don't need to make a grand entrance over here. I do think we need to fix this little part, so I'm going to do that now. All fixed up. So we have this giant uh, and lonely area. I guess uh, the next thing I'd like to do is make a nice storage for ourselves. For that, we'll need item frames. So we'll need leather and we'll just need wood. So yeah, that's pretty simple. However, before actually getting into that, I'd kind of like to uh, close in on progressing into the nether. I feel like that's gonna open up so many new possibilities to us and I'd really, really like to adventure through. We 
would need one more diamond, which isn't an impossible ask. We can definitely go strip mining for that. Also, I should keep weed on me at all times so I can keep breeding our animals because I am forgetting. Yes, you breed and you guys breed. We're still missing pigs and it looks like we're approaching the lake or whatever this is over this way. No sand or clay here. And is there sugar cane? If we can find one piece of sugar cane, that'd be great. I see pigs over that way. Mm, let's do a quick sweep. I know I said I wanted to go to the nether, but hold on. <gasps> oh, we got sugar cane. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. I literally did not know if we'll be able to get it within these under days or not. So that is a lifesaver. That's going to let us progress through a lot more and uh, keep our gear much safer. My plan right now is just to strip mine for a bit. So we're at Y11 and that is where we are going to get started. Ooh, here we go. I actually was not expecting to run into diamonds, but we got three, four, any more, any more? Cause you got me kind of excited now. No, it looks like that's it, but that is enough for not only a diamond pickaxe, but also for a enchanting table if we want one, because we have a total of six diamonds. Well, let's make a diamond pickaxe, I guess. Feels good, oh yeah. Let's go down to the caving system and find that lava. Oh, wait, but there's diamonds here. Did I? Notice that I found these and I, I, did I just forget? I'm really confused right now, but I'm going to take these. I swear, I swear. I don't know. You guys got to let me know if I mentioned these diamonds before. Because if I didn't, <laughs> I just got eight more diamonds for free. Yeah, that feels good. Here's a little area that we can kind of explore. I doubt that we'll find my... Oh my god, I see another diamond. Are you kidding me? Hold on. I feel like, guys, I'm not cheating, okay? Like, I don't know what to tell you to convince you otherwise, but this is pure luck right now, and I don't know how long it'll last us for. Okay, this is a bit dangerous here. I usually don't like to... Do another diamond vein. Guys, I don't I don't know. There's... Diamond veins are not boosted or anything. Like, I don't know how this is going on. Okay, hold on. I see lava. This could not have went better. I do need water, but that's the easy part. Oh boy. Okay, there's a lot of mobs here. Uh, zombies are no problem. Anyway, Anyways, let me grab these diamonds before I lose track of them. I mean, that's only one, but that's still good. And then we have a few more over here, it seems. Two and three diamonds. We are up to 13. Okay, this is a bit risky. Is my gear okay? It is. Yeah, diamond. Okay, it's only one. Better than nothing. Okay, lava pool here. So let's... Go get water. Was there water in this cave? There was, right? Yeah, here we go. Ba bam. And we're gonna mine all this up. And there we go, 14 obsidian. That is the bare minimum, and that's all I'm gonna get. So up we go. And I'm just realizing now, we are at level 40. So as soon as we got that level 30 enchanting table, woo -hoo -hoo. so flint and steel, and I mean, I have 10 obsidian, so we can literally make another portal right now. Hmm, where should we put it? Okay, I've found our spot. Let's go in here for now. And up, ah, please keep us safe. Okay, shield. We need to go deeper. Yes, hello. Okay, bastion remnant. Oh, wait, there's a ghast. Okay, goodbye, gas. Is there no border? I feel like I do see a border. I do, I do, I do, I do. Yes, there is a border. Okay, so, I mean, we found a bastion remnant. I'm not sure how much loot we can get from that. Any luck on a nether fortress? Okay, so if there's no nether fortress, are we not going to be able to make weakness potions? Because that would suck. I don't know. We'll have to find out, I guess. But I really only want to adventure in the nether once we have diamond enchanted armor. Otherwise, it's way too risky. Look at these guys. There's so many pigmen here. That's not something to play around with. We could even go for netherite armor. I feel like that would be a pretty fun thing to do. Now it's time to start working towards our storage and also towards our level 30 enchanting table. And let's see if we're reaching the, the sugar cane yet, which we might be. Oh yeah, oh yeah, what a good day. Now there's a lot more over here, but this is already enough to start up a farm. And I know it's not very efficient, but I just had the idea to build like a circular sugarcane farm, which I think could be kind of fun. And I'm thinking we can build it down over here. I kind of like the idea of turning our kind of bordered area into a village of some sort. So we'll have different structures spread out. 
Oh, hello sheep. You know what? I kind of feel bad for it. Even though we don't need to bring it, we will bring it to our animal. Now, how are we going to separate <laughs> the sheep is a good question. Might be tough. Okay, there we go. We got a bunch of the white sheep out. Just one more. Then we'll bring them all with us. Oh, no, babies. Come back. No, no. They love walking out. It's crazy. Okay, you know what? One baby sheep can leave. How about that? Okay, good. There we go. And I'll breed you guys. And I'm realizing now it'd probably be a good idea to just combine these because white sheep we're gonna have the most of. And back to what is important. Let's make sure the area is flattened out. And now it's time to get to work with the outline. see if we can figure out what this would actually look like with the water filled in. Okay, that's one ring around done and we're just going to continue this. Now we can begin placing the sugar cane but it will be a long journey ahead to fully fill it up in the beginning at least now get to building our storage. I know, debatable take. I kind of feel like I want to use quartz for our storage. That's just what I want to do, okay? You can't get mad at me. I just feel like we need to spice things up a little bit and using quartz is gonna let us do that. Here we go. Mining quartz very peacefully with a shield on. Uh-oh. Okay, they don't really seem to notice me right all right i mean i figured they'd notice me ow oh he has piercing or something okay well there's a lot of quartz in that area so i do want to go there but we got to take him out a little bit more safely well for a second i thought i was shooting pigmen if i shoot a pigmen it's game over oh <gasps> he did half of my health in one hit are you kidding me oh what's the sword have on it sharpness two okay looks like this area has been kind of cleared out so we can continue with mining some quartz Oh, we also got mushrooms. We could grow these around our base if we want to, just to add a little bit of diversity. Anyways, quartz, quartz, quartz. All right, well, with the limited amount of quartz that we got, let's head home and see how much it'll do for us. So, combining all of our efforts, we've gotten a total of 41 blocks of quartz. Well, you know, we did our best. Let's see, I'd probably want some stairs. I'd want some pillars. And of course, we can keep some of the regular blocks. We're gonna have chests here and here. And then we're gonna have item frames accompanying them. And we're gonna have have multiple sections of this essentially yeah and i figured this will fill up the space and create a cool kind of storage that means we need to start filling it up with some chests as well i'm thinking three tall is as high as we're gonna want to go with these and ooh, hold on i just realize something if i have chests right here how am i gonna place chests here you know it just doesn't add up hold on something like that also this place is in dire need of glowstone placing the glowstone below chest is a great thing to do so we will move these accordingly and it's perfect it's gonna turn out all right so what we need a bunch more chests for which we need a bunch more wood we need a bunch of item frames for which we need a bunch of leather and we need a bunch more quartz yeah let me farm up our wheat here wait how do we just get an orange sheep are you kidding me oh <gasps> It's because one of the red and yellow sheep bred. That's amazing. Wait, I didn't even think about that. That's hilarious. Okay, well, that is a very good accident to have happened. Is it though? Because we could easily uh, probably make just orange dye and bring some white sheep into a pen. You know what? Well, we'll call this guy Bob. And we'll, we'll leave him in with the yellow sheep for now. How about that? Yeah, I need to be careful of feeding too many because I'm pretty sure one of the white and gray sheep will breed now. I don't know. Might as well see what happens when we breed this orange one with the yellow, with the red, all at once. Did we get an orange baby or a yellow baby? It looks like we got a yellow baby. Oh, my sugar cane grew by one. Yeah. I guess while we wait for more sugar cane to grow, we'll use this opportunity to cut trees.
Okay, we might have enough. And I'm curious, I'm curious to see if our sugar cane has grown. Oh, it didn't. Anyways, let's make a bunch of chests for ourselves. 64, let's see how far that gets us here. Okay, we got pretty far with a stack of chests, but we're gonna need a little bit more. Okay, that's it. Now, is the chest room 100% even? Um, you know what? Kinda, yeah. So we've done the chests and we're working on the leather. So, back to the nether we go. Now, getting nether quartz is gonna get more and more difficult because we don't have a lot of nether to adventure through, but we are gonna do our best. so much here but there's so much lava oh yeah there is definitely lava oh okay that wasn't fun yeah that's why i was gonna say that before mining care we should probably try to get fire resistance i don't even know if i'll be able to get that but ah uh, yeah okay this is bad yeah we're gonna heal up and then we're leaving oh okay we're good wow and i just mean out of this little lava area i don't mean leaving the nether because uh, i still got a lot of work to do unfortunately why why do you have to be hidden behind a border quartz my love oh my life oh boy okay this is a bit dangerous actually so we're gonna knock this fella back strip mining for quartz is not looking like a bad option even though we don't have any fire resistance. Okay, let us dig downwards and see what that causes to happen. Oh, 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 okay. We're gonna need to do the relog trick, otherwise uh, we're not gonna do too well. Yeah, I don't know. The fire ticks might kill me if I don't do this. I'm gonna do it. You can't even get mad at me. It's legit. I'm just literally relogging into the game, just as I thought. Yeah. Oh, no, eat the potato. Eat the potato. Eat the potato. Eat the potato. We should be fine. Oh. Oh, that was terrible. That was what I was afraid of in strip mining. Okay, I need to be more careful. Wow, thank God that I can relog. Not again. Oh, I can't fill it in. Hold on. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll go around it then. Oh, all right. Oh, I just lost my one torch. Looks like we're mining in darkness for a while. Unless, can I hold? <gasps> I can hold glowstone in my offhand. Nice. <gasps> ancient debris. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> First piece of ancient debris right here. Beautiful, beautiful item. Okay, well, I broke my pickaxe and I don't have a crafting table on me apparently. So, yeah, we gotta head back up. I guess I'll use this as a chance to head home and grab torches. Okay, we're good to head on back. Ooh, and right on the border I found ancient debris. It'd be nice if we were getting more than one piece at a time, but I'll take it. Okay, I'm all mined out for now, so let us head back home. I didn't get that much more nether quartz, but I did pretty good, all things considered. Now, actually getting back home is going to be a bit of an issue, because I don't remember where my staircase is. Oh, here it is. Okay, we'll, like, double light this up or something. There we go. Goodbye. Oh, my God. He has an enchanted sword, too. Okay, wow. Goodbye. And the amount of blocks I have is quite crazy. The good news is we have a lot of quartz. So let's hopefully finish this with what we've got. Let's see, pillars here. And I think raising them three blocks high is just fine because the rest we probably want to cover in slabs. We'll just go over like so. Ooh, and I just remembered that we also wanted to place pillars like so. And that kind of changes the design back here. And yeah, we have to make all of these doubles as well, except for the corners. So there we go. And that creates a cool design. Now, let's continue filling in the slabs here. Okay, so that would theoretically be all of the quartz we need. Now, we still need something else because this feels like it is missing something for sure. Okay, let's see. These walls being here is definitely throwing me off. So uh, I think we should just move this quartz one block up like this. Yeah, and now we can put something behind this, which will match the theme of this better. If we want to separate this out, we can also transform the flooring here. 
Oh, okay. Whoa, I mined it all out. That took forever. Birch might actually be a good look. The stripped version of logs could be in the center. And I think we'll just carry that three wide all the way through. And then we will place slabs over here. Yeah, kind of fits with quartz pretty well. Also, bad news. It looks like I've used up like all of our iron on creating new pickaxes over and over again. Uh, I guess we need to go mining for a bit because otherwise we're going to be left without iron tools. Oh, I see a diamond. Give me that. Oh, and there's more. Okay, we got 35 iron. I think on that note, we can return home. But that was painful. That was uh, painful because I forgot to bring building blocks. Oh, and I've just realized that we hit some sand over here, which means we can finally make glass if we want to. Also, there's some more sugar cane over here. We can finally make glass. Wow, amazing. Oh my God. Where did it come from? How did that even happen? It's the middle of the day. We got fishies, hello guys, hello, hello. Oh, that's my first time seeing fish. Oh, that's nice, hello guys. I'm not gonna kill you, don't worry. Okay, let's see, I did already get some birch. <laughs> Yeah, we're looking pretty good here. So back to chopping trees and also getting that sand. And it's turning into nighttime and two stacks of birch logs should be enough. So we shall finish this up. And now we will fill in the rest of the flooring for the chest room. And we also need to fill these pockets in with something. And I'm thinking that we can actually use unstripped birch logs. Let's see how that's looking. Yeah, I like it. I like it. And one problem is that we actually need these parts to be full blocks so that we can put name tags here. And I don't have enough quartz I don't think. So maybe we can think of a workaround. Let's get some name tags. I guess that would require us to uh, kill some cows, which I, I have not done in a long time. I, I kind of feel bad about doing it, to be honest. <laughs> and you know what would be a good idea? Two things. First of all, let us add carpet. There's too many of them. Hold on. This is not, this is not what was planned. But I do need you guys to move on from out of that corner. There we go. Now we can get up like this. I'll take that leather. And the second thing, by the way, was adding glass. Because we can finally do that. There we go. Now we need a bunch of sticks. Boom, item frames. So let's see, we're wanting to put them up here, mm, but this is not so good for us. I wonder, can we put any block here, for example? No, we really can't do anything. Yeah, I'm not liking that. So I guess we need more quartz to make them full blocks. Wait, we can start the process a little bit, but yeah, we gotta head on into the nether if we wanna progress on this, I guess. Okay, some more quartz, right. Okay, let us get this done. Okay, back home we go. And hopefully this will be enough slabs. We will just add them to the tops of the chests like so. Okay, looking good. So we're gonna want item frames above like so. And that means we're gonna need a decent amount more of them. Because of that, we're gonna need to farm up some more cows. Here you go, fellas. We'll wait a moment for the babies here to grow. And in the meantime, we can design the rest of this. How would stone bricks look? We would just bring them over like so. <laughs> That's the roof done. I'm sorry, my friends. 21 leather from that. Oh, 22 leather. Bam, 22. And I think we definitely have some work to do to finish this off. Yeah, we need like at least 20 more. In the meantime, we can continue breeding these fellas. And I will also start to organize. Oh, okay. Well, since these are full blocks, I'm not able to access the chests anymore. But I'm hoping this will be fixable. Like so, yes, 
should be okay. Okay, and oh boy. Yes, okay, we can still put these on the slabs. Okay, we'll put all of our wooden things in this section. And I can separate out each item type, like logs and then planks. There we go, that's the wood done for now. Now I'll do any type of stone. Okay, we'll do any plant things next. I'll do food next. And I don't have a lot of food, so I guess this one is pretty easy. Do ores. There we go. And mob drops. And then maybe a spot for miscellaneous blocks, miscellaneous items. We can do one for any tools. There we go. And that should be mostly it. We just have a few remaining items and we're done. So we have wood, farming, ores, mob drops, food, stone, and also nether stuff. And then some miscellaneous categories right here. And we can continue extending. So this came out pretty nicely. With that, we are mostly done the storage room. I'll just wait on more left from the cows but the next thing i want to do is add some details to our mansion here i'd like to add windows and i'd also like to add some detailing we have about two stacks of glass which gets turned into a lot more if we use paint so there we go and now we got to figure out where we want to cut out the walls i think it would be nice to have a long window Looking good. We can add some windows over this way. We'll just do that for the windows here. And to get a sense of how we wanna do the windows on the top layer, I mean, that would probably mean we should make our second floor just so we know what we want. Lucky for us, we have a bunch of polished andesite slabs. Done. Don't really have a way to get down from here, do we? Let's try to figure that out. We could probably just do a staircase right here. So I'll just go bam. Yeah, I kind of like where we're gonna be placing our glass. So let's get it done. There we go. Let's see what this is looking like from the outside. And I like how I placed the windows on the sides here. Looking good. And we are gonna wanna detail these windows or walls later on. But for now, I'd like to move on to some other things. Mainly, I would like to get a full set of diamond gear and get our level 30 enchanting table because that will let us go and adventure further in the nether, which will let us potentially get nether wart. Anyways, hopefully we'll find it. Our sugar cane is growing very, very well, and I'm really liking our circular design here. We currently have 19 diamonds, which is a pretty good amount. I'd probably like to get about 10 more. Even more would be great, but uh, yeah, let's go down and mine. Looks like the border has been growing out a lot though. Oh, and I see diamonds. Pop. Please give me more than one. Yes, that even two is amazing. It may be time to go strip mining now. Let me just go down to bedrock level. Seems like I hear a cave above me, so maybe it's worth checking out. I don't know if it's a different one. Oh, here we go. Did I find an amethyst geode? Ah, oh, I did. Oh yeah, we can grab some of this. Okay, that should be enough for now. Oh, and I see diamonds right there. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to access those for a few more days. We can always return to them though. I've marked the coordinates. And I mean, that was a cool thought, but I guess it's back to purely strip mining for a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good way to start our strip mine. Oh boy, looks like we got some traits of a lush cave coming in nearby. We'll pick up these glow berries, or I mean only one glow berry. That's something new. Aha, diamond. 
two diamonds. Any more? No, looks like that's it. Okay. Aha, here we go. A little bit more of it. Not a lot more though. So that's a to be determined. Got a big unexplored ravine section here. And there is a lot of iron. I mean, I'm getting up to two stacks, which you know what? That's good too. <gasps> oh my god that was terrifying my heart dropped just just like i literally dropped but i'm okay that could have gone really bad yeah, I'm seeing a lot, a lot, a lot of iron around here, which is great. Uh, and I am getting it because we're going to need to make an anvil and other stuff like that. But I'm really hoping for more diamonds. I have quite literally run out of wood and I'm on my last three iron. So yeah, it's looking like I've about done all the mining we can for now on this trip at least. Now we did find those diamonds earlier, which is a good sign, but it's not really going to help us right now. That's fine though. I think what we should do is head up, work on getting the enchanting table, and then hopefully by then the border will be expanded enough to where we can get those diamonds we saw. And we are back up to the surface. Oh, and we got chickens. Hello, folks. Well, let's drop our loot off and we can bring them into a little pen. Now, the thing is they might be able to fly out of this type of Pen. So we might need to make a separate chicken coop. Whoa, our sugar cane is growing. Things are definitely growing. Look at this. Everything is grown. That's how long we've been mining. Wow. I don't know. For now, let's take the risk and just bring these fellas into one of our existing pens and we'll breed ya. There we go. I mean, I need what? 45 leather for a level 13 chancing table, which is pretty wild. And I got 51 leather. I'd say that will do. Oh, finally we get to sleep in our bed though. Bam, 52 books, more than enough for a level 30 enchanting table. So we just need a bunch of wood and obsidian and of course diamonds. 17 bookshelves, perfect. And I perfectly have one extra book. Bam, enchanting table. Ooh, we can probably place it in this corner and I'd like to eventually add maybe an additional kind of library design here. That'd be kind of fun. Bam, so that should give us level 30 enchantments. Yes, that's exciting. Oh boy, so what do we want to make with our diamonds? We have 22, which I mean, that's almost a full set of armor. I'm thinking we will make a chest plate. We can make leggings and even boots. And now I have the choice between making a sword, an axe, or a pickaxe. And if I can get efficiency four on a pickaxe, that would probably be the most worth it, especially if it has unbreaking as well. So I'm just going to make another one. And I mean, you can never go wrong with having multiple pickaxes. And let's do some enchanting. So let's see, efficiency four, unbreaking three, awesome. Unbreaking, protection four, depth strider three, protection three, unbreaking three. And blast protection four, we don't really want as much. Oh, silk touch though. That's a really good pickaxe too. Unbreaking, fire protection four, meh, it's okay. We can do a bow, that would actually be worth it. Power three, that's okay. And maybe we can do our helmet. That's not too amazing though. So first, let us enchant a sword maybe. Sharpness three. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh no. Aqua affinity, oh my God. Okay, our, our, our enchantment is just limited. Looting three, that's good though. So you know what? At the end of the day, we got something pretty good. Sharpness three, knockback two. Not bad, not bad. So, I mean, with that, we have huge upgrades to our gear here. Other than that helmet, that helmet is cursed. We also have a bunch of beef, so we can basically start using that as our main food source now. I'm going to quickly head down to our little mob farm that we have because I'd like to get more arrows for our bow if possible. Looks like this is spawning a bit less now. And I think this isn't working as well anymore because the border has expanded. So, it looks like our mob farm is kind of over, but I mean, I'll leave this here. And I mean, I'm basically ready to go. I'm also thinking of taking my ender pearls in case of anything and I'm good to go. Let's do this. This is uh, quite dangerous. We are going to have to be very, very smart with how we do this. Oh yeah. Hello, piglins. So I think I read something about crimson. Mm, they have nether wart blocks, but how would I actually turn this into nether wart? Is it even possible? Nether uh, wart? No. Nope. You can't transform it into regular nether wart, but we might find what we need in here. So let's see. Here's the Order. Here's the bastion remnant. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, we got an achievement. Here's a double chest. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just got a bunch of loot from here. Okay, nice ancient debris. Oh no, I was AFK. Oh no. 
Oh my god. That was a terrible time to be AFK. Holy moly. Hello. Now I'm wondering, is there a center area at the bottom here or no? Okay. It's looking like I'm slowly progressing. There's another chest. Oh, smithing template. Hold on. I just got an armor trim. Oh my god. I've never used an armor trim though. Don't see another word yet. Another chest. Oh, golden apple, crying obsidian, and arrows. I will take. Oh, hello. Ancient debris again. And there are more chests here. Ancient debris. I'm still not seeing any nether wart. I don't know if I've missed it or if it just did not spawn in this one. Are my dreams really going to be crushed? Maybe when it extends a bit, we can look further. But uh, yeah, nothing right now. So let us scout out what's going on in the rest of the nether. And there is a lot to explore. Okay, I'm trying to look around in different directions to see if we have anything else. So far, not not looking good. Yeah, I guess let's check the bastion one more time. Okay, I'm trying to dig lower. I don't know if I've been this low. I see lava. That's not really what I'm looking for, though. Yeah, no. You know what? It's, uh, it's not looking like it's gonna happen. So, we're gonna have to put our dreams of building a civilization on pause for now. And, uh, we're gonna have to get to doing other things because we do have a lot to do. Now, the bright side is we did get an armored trim and ancient debris from all of that. So we did get some useful things. Before I continue on with anything else, let's quickly do a quick scout around our base to see if there's anything new. Ooh, it does look like we have uh, dark oak trees. Dark oak log, yes. So that's something new. And I'm not seeing anything else new, but you know what I did? Oh, it's a donkey. No way. Yeah, no, don't go outside. Okay, I'm pretty sure it can't go outside the border. Did we already tame it? Yeah, there we go. Now I don't actually have a saddle, do I? Okay, well, let's let's uh, get wheat to bring it over to our base. You know what? We're gonna call her Bonnie. That's what we're gonna call you. Oh, you don't like... Uh, you don't like wheat, do you? You like carrots, maybe? Maybe that's what the donkey likes. Hello, do you like carrots? What do you like? Oh, maybe it likes apples? Uh, oh, man, I'm getting lost. Oh, wait, I read that it might like golden apples. Let's see. Oh, <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Okay, good. Oh, can it not get through this path? Oh, it needs a two-wide path. Okay, then we will make you an entrance right here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, before working on our mansion some more, maybe what we can do is expand out our farms here and continue our quest of getting every color dyed sheep. Oh, we got a pink sheep in here. Oh, boy. Yeah, I've kind of made a mistake by breeding the sheep as I have, but it's okay. We'll, we'll fix it up. Ooh, we're also going to need to clear out some grass, it looks like. But I would not like to use an iron shovel. Let's see. Well, let's enchant a iron shovel. Hopefully, we can guarantee a efficiency for enchantment. Self-touch. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> efficiency for silk touch one. That works just fine. I'm hoping I can still one shot everything here. Yes, I can. Okay, let's just clear all this out then. Oh, I probably. Sh yeah, no, this isn't. This isn't gonna work. It's. <sighs> It's already broken. I think I should try to get one more diamond at least and enchant that shovel because, I mean, this is just not gonna do. Okay, let's quickly head down to our favorite place, the mines. I think I see diamonds over here. Yes, I do. Boom. One diamond is all I need, but there is more where that came from. Thank you very much. Now, I need levels. A lot better way than to fight mobs and mine ores. There we go, level 30. Let us test our luck. And I'm breaking three, okay. Not exactly what we wanted, but I guess we're just gonna... Do we wanna deal with this? No, I'm not dealing with this. Going to the nether. Let's get some quartz for levels or something. I'm not mining that whole chunk of grass out myself. And just like that, we're at level 30 again. And you know what? I'm gonna make another diamond shovel just because unbreaking three isn't guaranteed. And I think we'll get the diamonds back anyways. Uh, it says unbreaking three again. No. <laughs> oh, back to the nether we go. But you know what? I have a plan this time. I feel like it'd be really nice to get a full netherite set like I was talking about. So we can start the strip mine for that once we run out of forts to mine around here. Well, the bright side is I am finding quartz. I'm just not finding much ancient debris. Oh, here we 
we go. <laughs> First piece of ancient debris that I found. Well, during this mine, of course, in 36 levels. And on that note, I think we should head on home. Hello, Pigman. Look at him. He's chilling. We got the pink particles going. Got the pants and the sword enchanted. Woo. And I think I actually have enough ancient debris to make two pieces of netherite gear, which is definitely progress. Now, let's make a grindstone. There we go. And we are definitely going to make use of this thing. I don't need two unbreaking three shovels. We'll take it off of that one. And efficiency four unbreaking three. Perfect. We got the shovel that we wanted. With that, we can get to clear all of this out, which is uh, it's a lot. Okay, there we go. That is the dirt done, and now we'll do the trees. Okay, looking much, much better. And I'm sorry to the bees, but we're gonna have to remove this. Might be sorry to myself. Okay, good. Silk touch works really well. So we picked up the bee nest and I'm also gonna clear out a lot of the leaves that were left behind by trees. We've mostly cleared this out. Now we also should remove the stone and replace it with dirt. That'll make it look a lot better. Okay, that's all the stone cleared out. And now we'll just fill it back in with dirt. And that should be it. All of this has been cleared out and it's looking almost like new. Oh, and we got some fellas over here. Piercing three, thank you. But my friend, you shouldn't have done what you did. Okay, let us extend this thing over. And the fencing part is 19 blocks long, so that's how long we will do it again. Boom. And now we will do the details the same way. There we go. And that should be it. I'll just make sure to light this up. There we go. Now, we should definitely find those pigs that we saw and bring them over to our base. Hello, fellas. Hello. Looks like we are going to need to make a little bridge to bring them across. There we go. Now, here we have one pig. Now, hold on. We need to find where a second pig is. There we go. In we go. There we go, fellas. You can breed. I will also pick up those eggs because... Bam, we <laughs> got another chicken. And now let's try to figure out the sheep situation because we have how many slots? One, two, three, four, five, and even six and seven. Now right off the bat, we're kind of going to have to get rid of these outliers because it's better if we just breed them ourselves inside the designated pen for them. Now let's get some wheat. And we're basically going to need to take out some of these fellas without causing too much of an issue. Oh boy, yeah, we're making them breed in the middle. Hold on, there we go. All right, I need some of you guys to follow me in. Oh, I didn't even do the doors yet. Oh, no. Okay, everything's fine. And let's go two at a time, two at a time. You fellas can come in here. There we go. Okay, we got two in there. Now we'll get two in this one. And there we go. That's all depends on this side filled in. Now, we need to figure out what colors we're going to make them. It'd be great to make pink and orange ones. So let's do that, hopefully. Well, these are already brand new colors for us. There we go. There we go. We're done with the expansion of that and we'll continue working on the colors as we progress. But it would be nice to detail our mansion a little bit because, uh, well, right now it's kind of looking plain. There's a few things that always help with that and that would be leaves, lanterns, and now right off the bat, let's see how many lanterns I can make because this is probably gonna be the most expensive thing we've got to do. Boom, there's 30 already and I will be able to make some more, but we should start the process of smelting our ores. And what was the last thing? Ah, yes, 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 clay. Oh. We got an individual piece of clay there. Okay, what can we actually do here? And these are very expensive, gotta tell ya. 
And not too bad, actually. Let's collect some more clay then, because I kind of like that. Maybe that'll be enough. You know what would be nice is if we made an auto smelter, because that would help us out. Maybe we could do it along this wall here. So for this, we're going to need a bunch of hoppers and chests. We would just go theoretically. That would do what we wanted to do. And we can just repeat this design as many times as we want. Now we would just need a bunch of coal to get these running. Theoretically, we should be able to put coal into these. And then if I just put in birch logs here, boom, it automatically goes in and it'll get smelted. I kind of do feel like we need a design for this though. Maybe even a brick design for this because it would be like a cooking oven type of feeling too. I guess we can start by changing the flooring. Bam, that's the floor done. Maybe we can add a little wrapping of stairs. And then if we want, we can add some brick walls as well. And then we'll just place slabs here. But it's coming along, it's coming along nicely. <laughs> the great news is that we can just do this, boom, and uh, it's gonna do its job. Ooh, I see horses, so that's something. I see a wolf. Oh my goodness, wait, hold on. Where'd you go, bud? Are you still here? Oh no, okay, it's far. Wait, I have an idea. Spyglass, here we go. We need copper and amethyst, both of which we should have. Spyglass, okay. Let's see how effective this thing actually is. Yep, it's pumpkins. Well, you know what? At least I knew it was pumpkins. And everything is coming along very nicely. We will finish this off. And there we go, we got a little furnace auto smelter thing. Now that that's running, we can continue working on the exterior. We can just try adding some slabs. This is a really long window, I don't know. Not bad, actually. We'll do the same up above. And with that, we could probably start adding some more details. Kind of adding it on the bottom seems to work pretty nicely. You know what? Not bad at all. And then we can add some lanterns and flower pots around. Oh, can I not place these like this? Oh, I guess we'll place it on ceilings then. I can place it on the ground in some parts though. So that's a bit weird. Can't place it on leaves, unfortunately. And we can light up some of the inside of our base with these as well. And then we have our glowstone, something like this. And I'll try to do this kind of all around the base evenly. I think I've done a decent job of lighting the area around. We'll see what it looks like in nighttime. And I guess now we should get some flowers to put in our flower pots. And it looks like I already have some good options. So we'll just place these around. Oh, okay, there we go. Finally, we'll just add it to this ledge here. You know what? We're actually looking pretty decent. I'd say this is a huge upgrade. Oh my goodness, hello. We are gonna prop them up. This is, uh, this is just a warning to any more pillagers that wanna come around. They're never gonna wanna come back. Okay, so we have our auto smelter and we have the details added to the outside of our mansion. Now we could do a few other things. One of them is building a library section here. That's just purely for aesthetics though. And another purely aesthetic thing we can do is build a pool right out here. Now I'm not gonna lie, both of these sound kind of fun, but I'm gonna put pause on them because we have more important things to do. I'd like to quickly head in the nether and explore a little bit more of that bastion remnant. I'm simply trying to find another word. Oh, I hear a lot of things around me, but I'm not finding. Oh my god. I see soul sand. No nether word though. Soul sand again. Yeah, not seeing anything. Let's go back home where I really need to get some ores because my gear is breaking down big, big time. So I'm just going to look for iron and diamond so I can make a anvil and repair my diamond pickaxes, hopefully. Ooh, here we go. We got the diamonds that I'm guessing we've seen before. Hello, beautiful diamonds. I will take you gladly. It was only two, but that's okay. I've gotten about a stack of iron, which should be enough for an anvil. And my tools are starting to break. I'm not really finding any new cave sections right now, so I think it's a good time to head up. 
Oh, maybe I lied. I just found a new cave section as I was trying to leave. And you know what? That works for me. And this cave actually goes up to the surface, which is the first surface cave I've run into. Ah, uh, yes. Home sweet home. Oh, hello. You know, sir, I don't appreciate you barging into my home. Okay, we're good. Looks like our iron has smelted up and food as well. Yeah, let's make our anvil. Boom. Yes, right here is fine. We got a lot of things to repair. Hair. I have four diamonds. Oh boy. That's not going to do a lot for us, is it? Nope. That can repair one pickaxe, which I guess is the most important thing. Before I do any of that, though, we can definitely enchant some items just because why not? Enchanting a helmet would be good because we just have aqua affinity right now. Protection four. Oh, yeah, that's a really good enchantment. Awesome. We can do an axe as well. Efficiency three, not terrible. And we can do another iron sword, maybe. Oh, bane of other pods, but it has fire aspect on there. Now we can repair that pickaxe. Boom. And I'm curious if we try to combine these two, for example. Ooh, that's pretty good. We just got a free fire aspect too on there. Not bad at all. And I kind of want to have another glance into the nether. To be honest, I'm currently deciding whether I should just make the border infinite in the nether because I feel like we're needlessly capped and we can't really move forward because we can't find any nether wart. And that's not really fun for anybody, especially for myself, but I'm guessing for you guys as well. But but yeah, I mean, I'm not finding anything. So you know what? Starting on the next day, the border will be fully expanded in the nether. I made that rule up. You guys can let me know what you would have done in the comments. And you know what? I'll take your recommendation seriously, but you better bet that I'm doing this. Okay, well, while we wait for the best thing ever to happen, <laughs> because I'm really excited to actually be able to progress, maybe what I can do is work on a little entrance for our underground section, just because this is not really cutting it. You can probably just make it out of cobblestone. Okay, well, let's just try to make a better entrance then. This will bring us into our main room where we have our staircase, which we'll probably need to adjust as well. Yeah, we really gotta, gotta clean this place up at some point because this is just not doing good for us. Anyways, that can be our little entrance, but I'd kind of like to use oak stairs. There we go. And then the entrance can be simple enough as well. Okay, we got a nice little mineshaft entrance finally. This is definitely a work in progress, but it's better than what we had before, that's for sure. And now when I head to sleep, <laughs> that should mean that the border in the nether will get indefinitely expanded. And into the nether we go. Hello there. Oh my goodness, the border has been lifted. We can actually progress. Now I have my eyes set on one thing, and that is finding that nether fortress. Oh yeah, and here we go. We've reached the border here. So I guess it didn't even expand Expand exactly 1,000 blocks. There's also an Enderman, and I figure we should try to fight as many of these fellas as we can, really. Oh yeah, we're up to eight Ender Pearls. And I mean, I'm at a point where I can kind of really use Ender Pearls to travel, really, because I have looting three. Oh boy. Wow, that was a bit scary, actually. Yeah, and we just got pure lava in this direction. Another said, no, no way. You're not gonna find any nether fortress. Nope. There's a gas there. Yeah, okay, this is... Oh boy. This is not safe at all. Oh boy. Okay, Ooh. Okay, well, I'm back at our home base, and I'm hoping to go off in a different direction this time. I guess I can ender pearl over to another part if I want, even though it's a bit risky. But at this point, I'd rather at least progress in some way. We should be fine. I have a golden apple, if anything. Yeah, we are good to go. And let's try to get out of this biome here. Here is another bastion remnant, it looks like. Alrighty. Aha, here we go. We actually found nether wart. Oh. And we also are getting attacked still. But we finally have found it. Oh, feels good. What do we got in this chest here? Ancient debris, that's nice. And a block of iron. Okay, on that note, we should be good to head back home and try to start the process of beginning a little village. Now, where do we want to put our nether wart farm is a good question. I feel like we might just be able to put it, like, right here, randomly into the ground. It doesn't have to be anything special, really. We will slowly fill all of this in with soul sand, which I'll need to collect some more to actually be able to do. And boom. 
can place our nether wart. For now, I'll actually just fill this in so we don't have a random gap of blocks. We need to make fermented spider eyes, and those require regular spider eyes, sugar, and brown mushrooms. Sugar we definitely have. Brown mushrooms is something that I'm not sure if we've collected yet. Let's see, we have one. I'm guessing that the best place to look for them is gonna be in the nether. So I guess back we go for a moment. Aha, <laughs> one brown mushroom. No, but I see more, so let's head over here. Thank you very much. Oh, and we need blaze rods to make a brewing stand itself. And then we need the blaze powder to actually cook potions up. So yeah, we need to find a fortress after all. I'm not sure how I didn't think of that before, but I guess our nether hunt continues. And I figure we'll go down the same path we did when we found the bastion remnant, because that worked pretty well. Oh, finally, here we go. I found another fortress and there is a blaze. Okay. I got seven blaze rods already, which honestly is probably enough. So on that note, we can already head right on back home. So we've got all the ingredients needed for fermented spider eyes, boom. And then we can make a brewing stand like so. Also blaze powder. And you know what, maybe a better place to put these things would be next to our enchanting table, at least for now. Bam, bam. Wait, we don't even need another word for these potions, do we? Oh, okay. Well, we do need blaze powder, so I'm glad we got that. But I'm pretty sure for fermented spider eye potions, you don't need another word. Let's test that theory out. Make bottles, there we go. And if we just use a fermented spider Better eye on that we should be good to go and then i'll use gunpowder as well yeah boom potion of weakness so we just create splash ones bam and i already have two golden apples which is perfect so if we head to our villagers hey oh i see we've got a friend again okay and then we should just be able to go boom splash and golden apple and there we go this fellow's gonna get turned and while that's doing its thing we can also turn the one that is in the caving system below us but hold on how are we gonna do that i guess let's make like a temporary staircase down or something yeah something like that hello here you are boom and boom now what's our plan once we actually turn these guys so this one we're gonna have to take through here and we're gonna want to bring them up the stairs which we can probably do by baiting him with the profession or like we can use a composter or something like that and the villager will follow that and basically same goes for the one that's higher up yeah this guy's still turning so boom composter we don't have a specific area to bring these guys to yet i think we'll figure that out though do we want to put them inside our mansion it's not the worst idea ever but I feel like building something else for the villagers would be better. So, oh, there we go, zombie doctor. That means that our friend has turned. And where is our friend? Hold on. Here you are, alrighty. So, let's get you out of there. And we do still have this path way kind of and look at that our fella is oh no he's not going up here hey come here come up here man yeah there we go oh awesome wait here just use that for now all right become a farmer no wow okay well we'll let him uh, wander around he can't actually leave the border which is good let's get our other villager which is gonna be a little bit tougher hmm here you are Alrighty. let us try to bring you up the stairs following along nicely oh yeah there we go going up the stairs by himself i don't even have to do anything yeah you go buddy no 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 keep going in this direction yeah there we go and boom Okay, awesome, we got a farmer now. Not a bad trade, actually. Whew. All right, so that's our first villager. I don't know where that second one went. Uh-oh, uh <laughs> maybe I should have paid a little bit more attention to him. Oh, there he is. What are you doing, pal? What are you doing? <laughs> You're gonna become a farmer? Are you not gonna become a farmer? Maybe I can try to get him to be a different profession? Here we go, barrel. So this is for the fisherman profession. No, he's not doing it. There must be some reason or something. So now that we've got both villagers up here, it would be good to build a villager breeder. As for where we want to build it, I think a good area might just be behind our mansion here. And then we can probably have an opening out to the back, which is funny because this was initially supposed to be the front entrance. But yeah, maybe we can just build it right here. We'll need the materials required. So let's gather those really quickly. I'd like to use use oak as a part of the design and I'm out of it again so I'll need to collect some 
Okay, I got about a stack and a half of logs. That's uh, pretty good. Okay, I've got some rail supplies and redstone stuff. And then we also need some beds. So I will share my sheepies. I can make some more beds and I should have all of the materials necessary. Oh, I just need some carrots and a hoe. There we go. go and then oh i forgot to craft a dispenser and you know what instead of going all the way around let me plan out our backside entrance now which would be over here i think and i'll even add some pressure plates how nice there we go dispenser anyways and then we can have the trap door there that's how it's supposed to work and also i believe we need to add a water bucket here now we just need to bring our villagers over and they should want to become part of this farm here. This fellow's a bit weird, but maybe. No, you're still being weird, aren't you? Can you just, I don't know, what, what what's wrong with these villagers? Like, I've had this happen before. They just don't want to become any profession. Like, it's very annoying, actually. Hold on. Like, you're gonna work, all right? You're 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 not one of the only two villagers in civilization reigning to not do anything. And I'm gonna lock you in here until you do, buddy. Go for it. Become a farmer. Okay, so I read up a bit on this and apparently if they have green, that means they're a nitwit or something. That is quite unfortunate. It's it's possible, I'm reading, that an iron golem can fix this, but so far we don't have any pumpkins. Now, I do know we saw pumpkins in the distance at some point, so we can see if the border has expanded enough to allow us to collect some. Ooh, I see a pillager outpost way in the distance, so that's kind of interesting. Can one of you just be a zombie villager, please? That'd be great. Wait, what if I transform the villager again? Okay, well, I read up on it some more, and nitwits are nitwits no matter what. You can literally do nothing to fix that, so. And, uh, the whole zombie apocalypse is going on here, apparently. Let me sleep in peace. Hey. Oh, yes, it worked. <laughs> I literally only had one bone. <gasps> okay, hold on. That creeper could definitely blow up my dog. If I'm not careful. Oh, this is why we cannot have our dog anywhere near us. It has to be sitting literally at all times. Let's bring you on home. I do not want to risk losing my one and only companion in this world. The only other companions I have is one normal farmer villager and one nitwit who is literally useless at a time when I'm trying to repopulate everything. You sit, buddy. All right, there we go. So what are we going to do with ourselves? I mean, I guess I found two zombie villagers down in the mines. I could try to look for one again because otherwise we literally still have no way of progressing which is, I mean, honestly, very sad. Oh, hello, buddy. You coming inside my house? Okay. You know what? As long as you don't wreak havoc on anything, that's fine. We'll let him be for now. Yeah, I mean, let's try to look for for some more zombie villagers, I guess. To be fair, that's what like 95% of zombies that spawn are gonna be is regular zombies, but I'm trying to get lucky here. I'm just gonna start taking out lighting so that more mobs spawn. Like, I don't know what else I can really do. I'm going crazy here, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. <gasps> it's a baby zombie villager. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Okay, the problem is we need to get this fella into a secluded area because otherwise we're gonna have the issue of like 80 mobs coming at us. Here, come here, come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're my friend. You're my friend. No, 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 no. Why did you leave? Come back. What? What are you doing? Get in the boat. Oh, okay. Thank God. It was about to kill me, to be honest. Okay. Good, 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 buddy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to mark those coordinates. And I didn't really come ready with a potion of weakness and golden apple, which I should, probably should have done. Also, my helmet's at five durability. And my sword's at 15. Yeah. So we're really, we're really hanging on the edge here, to be honest. We got to get out of here. Here we are. Okay. I'll mark this with like a cobblestone pillar and i'll also remember the coordinates of course okay so i'm back all i need to do is grab a golden apple and weakness potion boom and we are ready to get this done oh here's a wandering trader hello you're selling cactus oh my god i would actually love cactus uh okay wait you know what go and get the trade that we have with our villager where's our farmer villager hello 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 hello, hello. technically he should be somewhere around his workplace oh <gasps> he didn't get like a attacked by a zombie, did he? No, there's no way. I lit this area pretty well. Did he go in the nether? Oh, no way. Uh, no, you did not. Oh, yes, you did. Of course you did. You should not be in the nether. What are you doing here, mister? Get out of here. Oh, my God. That you. This is why you literally just have to contain villagers. Like, they cannot be trusted. There we go. Unbelievable, these guys. Okay, you get out of there. I'm gonna sleep off the night so you don't die. 
Let's just get the tray that we want with you. How about that? Boom, boom, boom. And let's get the cactus that we wanted. Where is the wandering trader though? Hey, buddy. Cactus. Boom. Okay, cool. So that's something new. That's fun. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Hold on. Okay, let's just trap you for a moment because I don't want to deal with you. There we go. Now we need to get back to the task at hand, which is getting that second villager over here. Aha. And there we go. There's our little post that we made. So now we just splash you and give you an apple and it'll get turned into a regular villager. Okay, there we go. Our fella has turned. And now, ooh, I actually don't know if we'll be able to lead this fella up with a profession. That's kind of a problem. Well, at least it's not a nitwit, it seems, so that's good. But uh, how can I get this buddy to follow me? It looks like he kind of is following me. Yeah, come with me, buddy. Follow me. No, not back down. Come. Good, good, good. There we go. There we go. Awesome. So we got this fella come with us above the surface, but now we need to somehow get him to come to the other villagers. I didn't build a bridge, which maybe I should have done, but it's looking good. Let's push you over. Okay, we're going to need to sleep off this night instantly. No, no, no. Don't. No, 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 no. Keep going. You're going the right way. This is good. Yeah, good, good, good. You know what? Maybe I can try it about this guy. There we go. Boom. Okay, kind of brought him over, so we just need him to grow, and I am a-okay with waiting for that to happen. So, let us encase you safely in here. There we go. We will check on the baby villagers soon, but while we wait for that to finish up, I guess we could set up a little cactus farm if we want. We can set it up next to the sugarcane farm. I just need to get some sand. <laughs> Here we go. And this one isn't going to be automatic yet or anything like that. So we'll keep it very, very simple. And it'll just go something like this. Yeah, we'll continue that when we want. And let's see, has our villager grown? Oh, it hasn't. But good thing it hasn't because I could have suffocated. I just realized that would have been bad. I don't know if it can grow in a boat also. So yeah, we'll leave it like that for now, I guess. I need you to grow up, buddy. Maybe if I give it a bed. Okay, there we go. Maybe we'll extend this villager's living space a little bit. There we go. And make it a little bit higher up. Okay, now you grow into a healthy villager, please. Oh, you know what? I have an idea for what we can do. We can try to complete our mission of getting full netherite armor. Now, that's going to require me to make a diamond helmet and also get about eight more ancient debris, I believe. Or actually, seven more ancient debris because I have nine netherite scrap. Since we're just going to be mining, I figure I can just head in as I am and we should be mostly okay. Uh, I'm hoping for the best. Aha, ancient debris number one. Aha, uh -huh, another one. Aha, uh -huh, another one. I'm actually finding an ancient debris pretty quickly this time around. There we go, another piece. Let's go, another one. Oh, 26 durability. Yeah, no way. I'm not breaking this thing either. Oh, and we got a bogey over here. We got really close, but not close enough. All right. Now we do have a fresh diamond pickaxe that we got, and that's actually pretty helpful. <laughs> we can use the grindstone on it, and fortune three. Yeah, um, I'd say that's pretty good. I would love to get an enchantment on the helmet that we make. So, I mean, we just gotta head down and try to get uh, five diamonds. Let's quickly check on our villager, because if they have grown, then we can start the breeding process. No, you still haven't grown, okay. I don't know if I'm doing anything wrong wrong about it, but we'll check back once we mine for a bit. Oh, I see diamonds. Oh, I see a creeper. I need like rotten flesh at this point. Oh boy. I really need rotten flesh. We're back at day one, basically. You know what the dream would be if this was five diamonds up here? Oh, how nice that would be. Oh wait, I have fortune. Yes, yes, yes. Go, go, go. Okay, that was only two, unfortunately. Yeah, and the fortune did not work. Oh my god, I found a spawner. Are you kidding me? No way. <laughs> that is the first spawner we have found. That's the first, like, anything we've found. Definitely marking those coordinates. And what do we got? Saddle. That's cool. And music disc. I also got some wheat and bread, which I really need right now, so I'm taking it. And I also got rotten flesh. There we go. More diamonds. And I have my fortune pick on me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Eight. Yes. Okay. We got all the diamonds we need and more. Up we go. And we 
we are back up to the surface. So we can now make our diamond helmet. Also, you know what? I don't want it to be nighttime. Please, no. I have my bed in here, don't I? Yes. Oh, <gasps> you're a full villager. Yes. Okay. And now we are gonna lead this fella with us to come to the village breeder. We'll open up a little doorway here. And we want to get this nitwit out because the nitwit is useless. <laughs> this guy, this guy is a working man. So we're going to boat him in. Let's go. Here we go. So we got this one in. Oh, and all right, of course. I'm not going to worry about that for now. Let's check on our other villager. Yes, you're doing good. I don't have a boat for you, though. Yes, there we go. We can make our way through here. Okay, here we go. Now, we have a problem because this nitwit is here. Maybe, yes, 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 there we go. Okay, we got me and the nitwit in. We are getting me and the nitwit out. That's the plan. Oh, all right, apparently not. Hold on, maybe if I do this. No. <laughs> uh, okay, push, 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 push. Yes. Okay, we got him out. Nice. There we go. Okay. And that should mean that our villager breeder will actually be in action and get to go. What we can do is bone meal a bunch of carrots. And let's collect these. Hello, Nitwit. Can I give you a carrot? How do you feel about that? Oh, he took the carrot. Okay. Here you go, guy. Oh, they made a baby. I think this might... Oh, yeah. There we go. Boom. Got the baby in. And let's throw you guys some more carrots. If you guys can pick all that up. Yes, you can. Let's get the rest of our netherite armor. Which, what? Did we literally just need one more piece of ancient debris? I think that's all we needed. Should be easy enough. Oh, hello. You swimming, Nitwit? I'm really tempted to kill this guy. We, we shall see by the end of the video if I kill him or not. Oh no, I don't have my efficiency for pickaxe. I forgot about that. For some reason, I, I didn't quite realize. I have an idea. I'm gonna enchant my diamond helmet. Let's see what we can get here. Production three, not bad, not bad. Anyways, with that, we can also combine these two fellas. Boom. And that will let us easily get the ancient debris we want. Okay, let's go. Aha, and we found two pieces of ancient debris. Very nice. Oh, let me make sure I can pick those up. Thank you. And uh, we're done. We are done here. And there we go. I have 17 netherite scrap, which means I can make four netherite ingots. Now we just need a smithing table, which we can place down there for now. And finally, uh, wait, hold on. Um, why can I not up? Oh no, what's going on? Okay, are you kidding me? So apparently you need a specific like armor trim thing or whatever. No, I just wanted to make another right armor. So snout armor trim. I don't think that this is what we actually need, unfortunately. Yeah, no, this is gonna give us the armor trim, but not the actual netherite upgrade. So yeah, we need to get an armor thing that says netherite upgrade specifically. And I guess uh, we could try to search for that, but um, yeah, it's kind of sad. Well, I mean, I don't have much else to do. So, oh, whoa, hello. Excuse me, fellas. You guys are you're not supposed to be doing stuff down here. Okay, let's bring you out. Let's take all of you up. Oh, wait, did I, uh, oh, I think I accidentally let the farmers down, didn't I? Oh, no, 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 no. How did I do that? Oh, I think it's because this was, oh my god, how did I, how did I mess this up? I'm confused. But I guess we will take these guys out and put them back in. I'm gonna put this fella in there. Oh, man, the baby went in. Okay, that's fine. You know what? That baby will become a farmer soon, I guess. Do we get another nitwit that spawned, or is, <laughs> did this nitwit just go in there by himself? I don't know which one it is. Either way, we gotta bring him out. That fixes this for now and we'll just uh, let that villager grow. Okay. I mean, I still kind of want that netherite upgrade. So let's uh, let's try to let's try to find it, I guess. I will get netherite armor if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> and we do the usual ender pearl down. Oh, I don't have my golden apples anymore, so we got to be a little bit more careful. Okay, here's the bastion remnant. Let us loot this a little bit more thoroughly and hopefully it'll present us with some luck. Okay. I've looted that. Any more chests? Um, I'm literally not finding any chests. I'm going insane slowly. This is not a joke. I guess I can go to the fortress that we found. No, I mean, I don't see a single chest. I probably, like, could have done a better job searching for one. I'm gonna continue moving forward and hopefully run into that fortress that we found again. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is literally where I came to last time as well. Aha, here we go. Here's the fortress. Let's get this netherite armor thing. Okay, we're back. Wow. Let's see where the chest's at. Where the chest's at. We can even try to fight a wither. <laughs> like, at this point, I don't care. I will die. I don't even care at all. Give me a wither skeleton. Let's get with wither skulls. Okay, didn't drop one. What a hater. I see a chest. We're going for it. Gold. No. Golden horse armor, though. Oh, hello. Oh, there's two of you, isn't there? Ow. Oh, there's a chest. What do we got? No, 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 no. I can sense chests. Come on. Okay, maybe I was wrong. 
Oh. Oh, and we got a wither, skeleton, head. Oh, yeah. I found a chest. Couldn't have what we need. I don't know if only bastions have them. It's almost seeming like it's only a bastion thing. Hold on. Okay, so I looked into it further, and it can only be found in a bastion remnant. What would you know? It's okay. We're gonna find another bastion remnant. How about that? Yeah, there's not really a great way to make it through all of this here. It's looking like we might just have to kind of make our way through this biome here and try to mine our way out potentially. Guys, how am I supposed to make it through here? I'm used to like flying through the nether using mods. This is not what I'm used to. Okay, there we go. This is what I'm looking for. I cannot <laughs> end these 100 days without the netherite thing. Like, it literally can't happen. I just can't even think of the possibility of that happening. It's literally impossible. I'm about 2,000 blocks out, which isn't too, too much. It's felt like a lot, though. I'm being chased by a bunch of piglins with crossbows and swords, and I'm literally on the edge of a cliff. Oh, okay. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, I found another nether fortress, which, uh, I mean, at least I found something. Not what I need, though. You know, it's funny. I thought my life would get easier when I expanded the border and it literally only got harder and down I go Ow, okay, so I'm at uh, I'm about 3,000 blocks out almost and uh, yeah, no progress. No, no progress at all I'm just in too far to go back like there's literally no going back from this mission And the thing is that, oh my god I could have probably like upgraded my mansion built a cool thing for villagers But no, I just decided that I would look for this netherite thing and you know what it didn't work too well Oh my god, stop stop. Oh another nether fortress. I'm so happy about that Guys, I don't know if I can take this any longer. I'm not gonna lie to you. We are 3,500 blocks out almost. Okay, to be fair, we're 3,250 blocks out, okay? Oh, and there's another nether fortress. You know what, guys? I advise you. Uh, just load up the expanding world thing and, uh, you know, try it for yourself and, you know, try to find a bastion room now. The netherite thing, you know, and let me know how long it takes you. Oh my god. 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 Oh, okay, we're good. Okay, I'm using my one and only under pearl, which might be a bad idea. Okay, I know for a fact we are running very low, low on time right now. So, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Might get very lucky and might not. I'm now almost like, what, 5,200 blocks out? Oh, another nether fortress. Wait, is this a ruined nether portal? What is this? Oh, it's a ruined nether portal. Okay, chest. Okay, fire charge. We can make a full working nether portal here. We'll take out the corner pieces. Boom, boom. Okay, let's see where this takes us. And uh, we got teleported underground. <sighs> Good old expanding border. Am I right? 